The start date is 56161.5. Deep within the gases of Yorvan 4, the captain of the Maxwell Plank meets with a mirror of herself to discuss matters of the future. In the light of the son of Shosku, the chief medical officer is called to the biobed of the infamous Irene Adler. Meanwhile, the strategic operations officer of the squadron sits in a lounge with much ado of evidence and reports and yet a quiet and stillness that he must know will not last. Back across the stretch of time and space, a false commodore and an agent of the future will be boarding the USS Norwest to prepare for a secret test once interrupted. First scene starts on the bridge of the USS Norwest. Start date 7404 or so, 2270. Some long time ago with various officers of the future dressed in the uniforms of yesteryear. Uh, Blackford, you step onto the bridge and you see various officers working their stations. Somewhat a bit more, uh, less the gem encrusted chiclet keys if you will of the old style they're starting to get into that era where they're starting to change the the consoles a bit there's more displays the user interface a little more friendly the computers are a little bit faster but you can still see the the uh echoes of the past in the in the design the one person in the room that is not a starfleet officer is dr shisha uh who seems to be ten who seems to be monitoring the uh, weapon and uh, the weapon room. Slayton, you step in. And uh, Pend, which of the other three step into the room? Uh, it depends on which ones will be used. Uh, generally, I don't think uh, Shotter would. Should probably be more stationed around the shuttle. So maybe Saria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give us some measure of intelligence in this group of three. I mean, in character, yes. So the three of you step onto the bridge. Uh, Wakeman kind of looks over her shoulder. Commodore? Captain. We're just preparing it to break away from dock. We good. According to the simulated testing, it seems that this torpedo of yours has... Uh, counted for itself so now we're going to move it toward a derelict freighter uh, that we'll use for the actual field test um, now our intention is of course to use proper procedure by shuttling it over to ensure that it doesn't get damaged during the transport and uh, place it within and then we're going to withdraw our away team and then go, uh, witness it from a distance we are going to be on a yellow step away due to the fact that the weapons test, the previous weapons test was interrupted, so just so you're aware, sir. Pretty good. So, any words of encouragement, sir, or any insight that you to be aware of this time? <clears throat> well, we should keep a careful eye out. Um, this project has been attacked once before. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it gets attacked again. Uh, Captain, is it possible that I may look over your senses? So make sure nothing awry happens? Uh, I'm sorry, say that again? 
May I look over your sensors so make sure nothing goes awry? Uh, she gestures forward to the science station. Thank you, Captain. Commodore? And you're kind of able to lean over next to the person. Kind of, the person nods at you and you keep working at their sensor station. Is there anything you're looking for at the sensor op station? In particular? Well, knowing that previously we had one Klingons in the area and two uh, ships hiding within the debris field, primarily looking for those two things. Reason plus science. Difficulty of four. Assisted by this ship's sensors plus science. Where did I stuff that? I assume the focus of observation may come in handy. Yes. If only we had momentum. Oh, and uh, I will allow you all to see the the Norwest, because you now have access to the ship. Yay! Yeah, I'm just seeing what talents this ship has as well. That's part of why I put that out there. It's like, yeah, you probably want to know. Yeah, nothing that really helps with a sensor roll, but it's worth looking. Well, she does have technical expertise, which is helpful, but I'm going to give you three threat. The ship, so that's sensors, science. Uh, do I want to fish with the free reroll she has? I think I kind of do. So I'll reroll Cecil's the zero. We gain two. Why was that not okay? Yeah, I had to close the Norwest sheet and go back into it. Yeah, I just did that. There we go. Okay, pretty chunky little ship. Got it. It's a it's a maneuverable little ship. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now that's what the Hermes were. They were little nippy little scout ships. Get in there, see the thing, and then if it's too big, run the hell away from it and yell for help. I mean, it's a good yeah, it's, it's a good it's, plan. Yeah. And why run away? <laughs> Oh, you notice it doesn't have torpedo uh, tubes. Yeah, precisely. Oh, that's probably why we're not firing the fucking thing. Yeah. That's the other part of it. I, I, I was literally about to suggest that before we got the sheet. It's like, can't we just fire the torpedo? Well, they're only testing the explosive yield of it, not the guidance or firing system, so they're isolating variables. It's like, it's like assuming best case scenario, this thing buries itself into a ship and then blows up, what does it do? Because if it can't blow it up from that, then it's like, well, it's not going to blow it up if we hit it on the outside, so point. Uh, we need to rethink the warhead. Simulation says it should work, but actually doing a field test is important. 
Yeah, it's not like we've got any spare moons hanging around the system to just launch it at. Hmm. If only. Uh, Captain. I believe I saw three energy signatures in the nearby in debris field, but then they disappear. Hmm. What sort of signatures? Uh, can I spend to answer yep. that? You certainly can. Let me just look on the sheet to see if I have to spend. Yes, I do. And it appears to have... They have been a full starship. Not small crafts. They may be attempting to interfere as the previous exam. Does it match up with the uh, Orion vessels that uh, jumped us before? Uh, threat spend? For info? Yeah. Sure. Uh, no, Captain. They do not uh, appear to match. Is there any top secret uh, observing ships I should be aware of, Commodore? Uh, I'm not aware of any. Slayton? She gives you a look. Preferably not. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, you've got a copy of their signatures, Saria? Saria, sorry. Saria. Uh, yes, Sultan Commander. I will forward right, them to on. your net to the technical console, and I will check those against other signatures. I mean, I'm saying it's a tactical console. It could be fucking anything. Yeah, it could be the console to make pina coladas. As far as I'm concerned. Yes. As long as we don't get lost in the rain. But there's also uh, one. Find an airlock and throw yourself out of it. <laughs> uh, two, I've got the intelligence officer thing, so I can just kind of. And... I... Yeah, that's what you do. Reason plus con, difficulty two, assisted by computers plus con to identify the energy signature of the starship. Icon is not terrible. It's a two. That's twice as good as a one. Yes. Did you want to use your intelligence officer uh, ability to make this easier? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Even the one in the background said yes. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, streaming something. I don't know what she's streaming. At this Fortnite. point. Fortnite, um, probably. It's a Pokemon game of some description. Hey, Pokemon's Pokemon awesome. Fortnite. I have never bothered with Pokemon. That's a get out. Um, chain of Command focus? Uh, not with this, no. Would or it help a that... leap by example? I mean, would Chain of Command come in? Because I've just sent it up the Chain of Command to a Lieutenant Commander. But your ability, your knowledge and ability to know the chain of command doesn't change how well you can identify a starship. True. I know. I'm, 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 I like <laughs> fishing. example in terms of going over to this guy's console and here's what we need to do for this. Uh, I can't just give him the intelligence codes. <laughs> uh, I'll take it at increased complication because you're kind of you're kind of stepping over and saying I need you to not be looking right now. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's kind of fair. Like, I'm not right. relieving you, but I am taking control of your station. <laughs> Chuck you a threat. Sure. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Those are both flat 20s, by the way. Um... Uh, <laughs> that's the ship. 
So we gain one. Uh, yeah, how do I proceed with that one, Bond? I've got to chuckle, because that's holy hell. That is... Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's making a statement early on. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, value. More can always be learned. It's true. I'll take that. <laughs> <sighs> Are you shitting me? Is this still a 20? Okay. Do I keep you? I keep you. Let's play the game. <laughs> We're starting out strong today, boys. On his first roll. <laughs> is there a mission directive that is applicable? Um, let me check. Don't fuck up the timeline. Or also allow the experiment to continue unimpeded. And we're trying to make sure that uh, this is not about to impede it. The current directive of the ship is protect the secrecy of the test. So that would apply. Yes. Just because that is a thing we need to spend to work. Thank you for not doing it to me again. <laughs> yes. Three successes. <laughs> That's stupid. Wow. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> the veteran train. Choo choo, motherfucker. Yes. Oh. Is that all three signatures? Mm-hmm. Oh. Give me insight plus security oppose the minute you can discover that. <laughs> was that a good O or a bad O? <laughs> or was that an O? Oh, no. Think we could win this O. <laughs> insight, security, opposed. Um, focus and guerrilla warfare, question mark? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I was like, they're hiding out in the rocks, I'm pretty sure here. Um, this is a mental opposition, though, not a physical opposition. Correct. So, my bone juice does not come into this. Fucking bone juice. Spending two threats to buy a focus. I now oh. have the focus I need. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm going to give you a threat to momentum. I'm going to buy all the dice. I can. Uh, I do not have a value that applies here. Uh, so do, I I buy, that. do I buy some more, bud? I might need to. Uh, that's another, you have another three threat there, GM. Or do I another sure. one and one and two? Because we've got a momentum. I'll keep the momentum there just in case. Okay. Uh, the ship is not helping in this instance. No. I don't think it would have helped in the first place. <laughs> okay. Not terrible. Wait, don't I? Well, medals. I've got medals. Let me... No, I don't have that one. Just let him roll first. No, I was, I was like, wait, Starcross. No, I don't have the Starcross. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I can reroll that 20 for free. Not that that's gonna help much, I don't think. No, I just I just clawed back the the whiff. Yeah. So we gain two. You're about to tell me. Oh, boy, this is gonna be. Okay, this is. Power play on three. Wow, I did not. Hmm. Klingon, not Klingon. No, we want them Klingon. Klingon, yeah. That'd be nice, but. Okay, um, one, they are 
nothing on D7s. Three of them. Two, they are sending a communication to the station now. If someone can try to intercept that, it's going through these frequencies. Uh, you're going to want to walk that back. What? Oh, sorry, from the science station. No, from a science station. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you meant from, like, the station itself, as no, in the no. one that's over there. No, no. Okay. From a sign. Oh. We've only got one sign. Okay. Um, so, in that case, uh, what would it be to point out to the security dude that I'm right next to? Uh, depends what you're trying to get him to do. It, Basically, point to get... out that the signature, that the transmission's coming from this ship to those. As in a, this is your job and your ship, and I'm not about to pull a phaser on this person. Like, you know, without alerting you first, because that's how I get shot. Uh... The officer, tr you notice that as the, uh, when you pointed out, they kill the, uh, block the, the signal. Uh, you may assist them with this role. Okay. Because security guy immediately just goes, oh, crap. Yeah, without a word, when you point it out, looks up and starts tapping at buttons to start locking it out before the message gets out. So... I'm going to put my money on effects. <laughs> I honestly don't know I'm putting my money on effects. Um, yeah. Actually, oh, I do have NPC stats. So if someone wants to roll the ship's uh, star crew, you can for them. Uh, you can determine how many resources you're spending. It's an opposed roll again. But you get to, but Clayton gets to assist the security crew because you, because you're there and you saw it and you're pointing it out to him, so... Uh, so they're, they're rolling a 13. Buying all the dice, because oh god, oh god, oh god, this is not good. <laughs> Do we want to roll all the dice? I think um, so. Preferably, yeah. So, so three, three and three. three. This is Mr. Crew Dude doing it as well, isn't it? Yep. yep it's yeah, a... Spending two to have the relevant focus, because I didn't have it before, so I have to Oh, he's not terrible it. at this. This isn't, isn't actually a pretty good ship in terms yep. of crew. Task roll five. Uh, Norris has been out and about for a bit, so. What are the stats that I'm looking at here for assisting him? Uh, control plus security. Okay. That's not a bad roll. Yeah. I don't. I don't have a re-roll though. But... Um. Chain of command focus in yes. this case. Yeah. Dang it! I keep putting in the wrong thing. Nice six. Does the ship help? Uh, no, because you're, you're both working with the same uh, vessel. Yeah. The, the, the ship's canceling itself out. Oh, he got oh. another free reroll, didn't he? Yeah, because he's doing something. We've got six. Fuck you. Six. Oh, we still got a comp. We get a hit. hit but we a still comp. got a comp, but we've... Um, I can't do anything to squash that comp from me, can I? Because I'm just assisting no. on the roll. Yeah, because yeah. you're just the assist. Would you take one That's on one? Comp. No. I mean, I'll always ask. Wow. Uh, I'll simply take my two threat there, because I desperately need it, because whoopsie. <laughs> you just lost those two uh, back-to-backs. You are able to stop the transmission between the two of you, and whoever's doing it is really skilled at this sort of thing. Okay. Um... And, yep, you're able to stop it. One momentum, which panel, which scientist? For one momentum, I will answer. Money <laughs> is on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's probably uh, tapping our Mr. Mr. Security Dude here on the shoulder. Pointing that out. And, uh... Oh, I'm not familiar. No, never mind. I shouldn't do that anyway. I caught myself. I was like, psionics, and I'm like, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> False <of> habit. <laughs> uh, but if you're trying to get them to do something rather quietly, uh, control plus security difficulty of... No, difficulty more of... Just, I'm doing a thing. 
Oh, but you're yeah. doing something. To... It's, it's more making sure that they're aware I'm about to pull a phaser. And that oh. they don't get jumpy. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's actually <laughs> present security. Difficulty two to set up that. Like, yeah, the advantage that, that... that not only does the security person know, but they're just going to signal to the captain and uh, kind of go, hey, just heads up. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a security thing. Give it, don't panic. <laughs> um, lead by example, focus. Uh, or yeah. guerrilla warfare. Or... Lead by example is exactly what you're doing. Yeah. This is, I could get you to do it, but uh, no. Okay, present security. Have a threat for bold. Also, you know, we don't have momentum. Hmm. Crushed. I am apparently very present. Uh, does the anything assist? Uh, no, unfortunately. Okay. Game three. Uh, yeah, so Blackbird and Serira, you also catch a, a sort of that furtive look Starfleet officers get when they start sing to each other, just very slightly. It's not the same way you do it on the Kismet, because uh, you're trying to let these people know what you're doing, but mm -hmm. it's a subtle hint of I'm about to I'm about to pull my phaser, follow my lead, and the two the two red shirts are kind of like they sit a little further away from their consoles, like they're getting ready to stand up if they need to. The captain just kind of leans a little closer into her into the calm of her of her chair like if she has to and it lets her hand kind of hover near the calm system in case mm -hmm. she needs to call for backup uh she kind of glances back at you blackford and kind of motions for you to move further back further to the back of the room because you're the flag officer she doesn't want you caught up in whatever it is your security guy's yeah. doing <laughs> yeah then that's probably uh so I'm not cross-firing the captain. Take a step this way like I'm going to my dude, and then pull phaser and point to the Thrix. <laughs> and it's, uh, Dr. Shishishrir, I need you to stand away from your console now. Presence plus security. Uh, difficulty. Three. As there's a half second where it looks like the doctor is weighing their options and you're just pressing them so they don't have a chance to really think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lead by example. Uh, yeah. If this is a case of I clearly have the upper hand. <laughs> At least in this particular instance. As far as appearances yeah. go, you've, you've you've cleared your weapon first, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. and that's always bad for in a shootout <laughs> when you're the one who's still who's empty-handed. Yep. Uh... Diff three. I'll give you one threat to momentum. Okay. Made two momentum back, so there we go. Roll for me seven challenge dice, please, to see how much you out. If you do at least five, he'll simply, he'll just, he will likely just give up. That is four. <laughs> I can re-roll three. Right? Four, four actually. sorry. Hmm? Four, actually. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to go for that. So we'll spend one, re-roll four. <laughs> five! <laughs> As you you yell at your command, Adam, very well, you state your command rather firmly, phaser pointed at him. Uh, and these things don't have that little telltale light for people to tell that it's charged for stun or kill, uh, the pistol era. So he doesn't mm -hmm. know what you've set it at. You're pointing a gun at him. No one on the bridge is freaking, which means everyone in the room knows what's going on. And they, mm -hmm. no one, and the captain is, he kind of, you see him kind of give a gauge of the room. Almost as if he's thinking about avoiding the injury, as it were. He he starts weighing his options. And then in that split second where you're about to probably have to shoot him, like you're getting that sense that he's going to try something, he just, stepped, he just steps away from the console and puts his hands up. Smart move. What's happening here? What's happening here, Slayton? Um, 
Blackford steps forward. Sending signals to the Klingon D7s in the debris field. And, you know, move up and secure him. <laughs> like... Blackford <laughs> looks over to, uh, uh, Blackford looks over to, uh, the captain and the security guy at the terminal over her shoulder. Is that true? Security person nods. Yes, Commodore. I just double checked it myself, sh- Commodore, says Wakeman. Yeah. For now, throw him in the brig. We have some Klingons to scare off. Mm. We'll deal with you later, Thex. Uh, Captain, I have a suggestion. I'm all ears. If I use his console, I may be able to send them false instructions. You were able to cut off his communications, right, Slayton? Correct. Then they still haven't received the uh, communications they were waiting for. He looks over to the captain. Oh no, they definitely received something. Hold, hold to your alert, Surya. Get on that. Uh, get on that station. Yes, Captain. Let's get, let's give them something else to think about. Okay. And uh, we'll take Shishishir off the bridge. I assume I can just pass him to a security detail outside the bridge. Uh, uh, Wakeman's going to try to summon a group to the bridge rather than spend resources. Yeah, because I'm still a lieutenant commander. (laughs) Uh... Uh, if someone could roll comms security for me. Yep. Not this ship's best roll, but, you know. Hey. Wakeman leans into her chair, press the button. Uh, security detail to the bridge on the double. And almost immediately crew come in. They look around. They see where the phase is being pointed, and they walk over to haul Thex out. And they kind of, they take, when they notice that you have phasers, pull theirs to point it at him to let them know. It's like, that's probably the amount of force required to take him. So like, yep, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll shoot you too. <laughs> you better not try anything. I mean, I'm sure they're also like, ah, an Andorian. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go stand next to my buddy again, because apparently we figure something out. So... <laughs> The security guy kind of pats you on the arm, and, like on your face or arm, going like, like a, a silent like, good job. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see, intelligence isn't all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the energy signatures are roughly here. Yep. Just be aware where they are. Three scale four D7s battle cruisers. Yeah, I don't think we want that fight. Especially with our kind of resources. All right, what's your plan, Lieutenant? And if I go over what he's most recently done at this console, I may be able to find out what he has sent them and send them some false instructions. Hopefully either sending them away or if they are to intercept the torpedo give them wrong location good luck sister (laughs) Uh, if possible could um I need to sort of look at the name for him in this era. Slayton. Would it uh, be possible if the Lieutenant Commander Slayton helped from the security console? See what you can do, Slayton. 
the captain gestures for the person in the seat to just stand out. Like she doesn't even. It's like you move, and she nods at Slayton to confirm that she's okay with it as the captain of the ship. Mm-hmm. I don't think no, it's not a challenge of Commodore. Uh, the Commodore, it's more of a no. I'm. It's like an X C O X O thing. She's just doing the X O part of the, qu- of the equation. It's like no, nope, yep. you move. <laughs> well, Commodore said so, and I'm agreeing with him. Get out. <laughs> you <okay>. sit down. <laughs> yeah, so it helps I- that I just proved myself somewhat competent. Yeah. <laughs> Like you just saved me from a rather annoying mess. Okay, I'm not mad at you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm lucky I don't need to do a focus for this because she has a one in security, but an eleven in reason. This is what Slayton does. Yeah, so you've got a twelve, so that's that's what I was rolling for hmm. uh my reason con. To be so, fair, I got two complications three complications on that. So I'm gonna spend one momentum. I do have technical expertise because it's with the computers, so I get a free reroll. That is nice. Don't need it. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can reroll the ship technically if I wanted. <sighs> can I, I re- can't reroll that because I... I was an assist, but I can squash it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'll I'll reroll the ship. I'll just gain two out of that. I've got so many 20s today, my god. That's four? Yeah, I think you're playing the wrong game here, bud. Yeah. Um, you know, I will, for the sake of irony, (laughs) the order of the battle. Yeah. (laughs) Just for the sake of irony, I'll quash that with the order of the battle. (laughs) Ridiculous. Oh, I used presence anyway, but yeah. And all that information was sent, correct? Was intercepted. So just before it could get sent. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it, it got garbled on the way out. Is what happened. Like the sig- at most, they knew a signal was coming from the Norwest, and then it di- it got garbled in the background radiation. Because basically, the the way security killed it was they just turned up the output of their engine, which just blasted. It was it's like trying to whisper near a, a car engine and revving the engine. It doesn't seem suspicious from an outsider point of view, but if you're the guy trying to stop someone from whispering, it it gets the job done. <laughs> Um, mm. Captain uh, Komata, it appeared that Thex was uh, about to send the Norwest shield frequencies where the torpedo was going to be placed and the fact that the Commodore and his, well, it was his team was here. Luckily we intercepted that before they could be deceived. Damn, they would have been able to do unspeakable damage with that. They would have knocked out our shields, probably beamed you straight off the ship, and then ran with the torpedo. Very similar to how the Orions were going to attack us, I think. You don't think... He's trying to lead her down the the obvious line of reasoning that, oh yeah, the Klingons totally planned that at first arrival. Uh, you, as you start hinting at that, give me sight plus command three as you're think as you're thinking in that out. Uh, hang on. You, where are my characters? Where are my characters? There they are. What do you mean character? You've got, you've got one character. Find him. And we can oh, there's that. he is too. It could, Sir Grenin could be involved for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend uh, three momentum. Uh, deception focus. Uh, yeah. Given what you're trying to piece together. Okay. 
all three momentum back. Mm. No. Why is everyone shouting yes in the background? What the fuck? <laughs> Mm. That's what happens when you catch Pokemon and no, defeat gym leaders. Man. They're not even playing. The other person's not playing Pokemon. And actually, the, and the Commodore fills in some of that gap for you as she as you she says, and she has a similar brainwave. You can kind of see the look on her face that she's having this. It doesn't add yeah. up. There was a Klingon ship earlier, one of Subgita's ships. They were poking around. They spooked some strange ves Orion vessel, and then they just cloaked and went away. If they wanted to steal it or attack us, they could have. And they. And they had already been here, which likely means that these are two separate attacks, but they're too similar for that. Two separate attacks, both oh, in the same no. top secret test. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Who's after the t test then, if it's not the Klingons? There's a third player. Any words of wisdom from the... Uh... Intelligence files there, Slayton? Uh, let's see. Given the subterfuge, I'd... I'd almost want to say amulets, but... I feel well, like this is this far as Rimward? And using no. the Klingons? No, I, I can't see it. But Unless those aren't Klingon ships out there. No. Those are Romulan D7s mocked up to look like Klingons. Reason secure. Okay. And with the cloaking technology, they could get out this way. That's a long way to go. You'd cross all across the Federation, Klingon Empire. Either way, you're looking at a lot of people if they uh, find three you. Three and three. Commodore, this test might just be worth it. This many people looking at it. Uh, okay, let's. Beginning to wonder how much the Andorians ticked off the Romulans and the Klingons to them to get this uh, much attention. Five successes. Six. Six successes. Oh, uh, yeah. Again, I can roll for any ship. Apparently. Is this one of those things that it... was need to know and now it is. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. I wonder if I wonder if uh, the Commodore and the Captain just hit the nail on the head. God damn it, Pend! <laughs> what? What? What did I do? <sighs> I like how it's God damn it, Pend. I thought I said shit. But if some third party, it's either the Romulans coming all the way here, which that's all. I mean, they could do it, but no. How do they know it's that the it was third here? Third party already on the ship. Hmm. You mean what the doctor? That? Yep. Well, he's just some Andorian scientist. I mean, sure, he has some connections in the Imperial Guard, but, but... how familiar are you with illegitimate aspects of Starfleet intelligence? Or oh, that would like to attach themselves to Starfleet Intelligence. This conversation isn't happening on the bridge. Uh, no, it is not. Let's resolve the fact that we have three D7s hovering out there. What are we going to do about them? Once we figure, once we get them sorted, I'm going to have a we'll have a briefing on this. Right now, we have hostiles within shooting range of us. I, I do three. have this suggestion. I'm all ears. Uh, what if we sent those D7s a signal stating that the Norwest was heading over to the starship to do another round of tests before we actually deploy the torpedo, but we actually put the torpedo there? Um... So, why, why, how would that make them leave, though? They would see us moving around and wait for us to drop our payload, wouldn't they? 
No, we tell them that we're only double checking the test site, but we actually do the test. We'd have to. So you're saying we have to? We tell them we're not taking the torpedo over, but we actually sneak it over somehow. Yes. I'm I mean, if they're running low power in the debris field, it's reasonable to think that their sensors are not operating at full capacity. They may be waiting for a go signal. Mm -hmm. Well, so as I'm... long as we don't, as long as we hide the torpedo, and we keep its power off to the absolute last second. Also, we can place it in a different location than what has been so previously just... discussed. Yes. That way they don't just beam right into the room. That messes excuse the results a little bit, but I think the Endorians will live with it, assuming you're okay with it, Commodore. Yeah, uh, and as long as we properly, uh, as long, long as we keep proper records of how we change the variables, they might be able to compensate. Uh, the captain would like to buy a mom uh, take a momentum. She's going to set something up. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Uh, and roll the ship's comms plus command. Okay. Oops, I rolled one to view. There we go. Uh, she generated a momentum. She also generated a complication that she can't get rid of. Uh, fuck it, squash. Yeah, we'll squash it. She leans into her chair. Engineering, I'm going to need you to set up some new variables. Test. Um, I'm sending the data to you now. Uh, get back to me. Uh, have a runner come up when you have it done. Don't put it over the comm system. Uh, bye, Captain. Smart move. Uh, engineering out. All right. While well, they set up the fake news, uh, Surya, I just gave that order changing our new test parameters and you've probably overheard me say it aloud what I'm intending to do so uh, I imagine that our good Dr. Thex would very quickly tell them about the new development so if you could just send that message along and uh, perhaps you and Slayton can make sure that it's suitably secret and it sounds like we're trying to avoid the scary captain and the commodore from overhearing us of course captain it would have been my pleasure she nods very good to it after uh, all, you're... we are after all we are quite good at our jobs, aren't we? Uh, I don't know what it is, but I know it's a little bit different. <laughs> Control plus security slash engineering. Uh, this is probably be best if the lieutenant commander did this. Uh, I assist him by using key phrases. Do it. Okay. Uh, Guerrilla warfare. Focus. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like sending hidden communications is key to not dying. <laughs> that's why it was easier for you to catch him earlier. It's like, yeah, that, that sounds like a gorilla thing to be trying to pull. Now, hey, we did that trick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you allow... Wait, team... this looks awfully familiar. I'm used to being on the other side of the... <laughs> Would you allow team dynamics for the uh, cell? Sure. Have... Mm, is this also being assisted by the ship or no? It yes, is. comms plus relevant department. You give you a threat then. Okay. That's already hit. And do I want to risk it? Here's the ship. Fish and chips sounds great. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it paid off. I just need to say fish and chips sounds great. <laughs> I mean, do we want me to fish with Cecil as well? Can you? Oh, because you, you've got the technical expertise. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, uh, it was the comms system, wasn't it? Yeah. It only yeah. works for computers and sensors, so never mind. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So you really send out the message? Mm-hmm. We certainly sent out the message. Wow, that was six successes. Yeah. Commodore, Commander, if you will follow me, please. Office, we need to discuss some intelligence matters. Mm. Uh, Captain, right. if anything comes through, I will send it directly to you. 
Uh, just shoot it to tactical. They'll have it bu uh, busted over to me. Understood. All right. Lieutenant Colonel Martin, you have the con? Hi, Captain. And she walks off. Okay, well. And Saria, hold things down here. Understood, Commodore. Walk into a very simple office. Ready rooms weren't really a thing quite yet. Um, but you eventually walk down a corridor, turn a corner, and then eventually you uh, she walks into her office. Uh, you see various stacked, like clipboard looking things. They're they're pat these chunky pads, basically. Uh, you see a few decorations on the wall. Uh, one is like a big banner of the old red uh, golden stars of the United Federation of Planets. The, the, hanging like, off the wall. flag thing. Yep. Uh, various books on survivalism uh, from various uh, alien species, uh, stories of various starship captains, uh, psychology books, um, and a variety of religious texts, uh, Some from Earth, many from Earth that the Earthling uh, recognizes, but there's actually one, uh, surprisingly, there's one, tech, one Bajoran text in there that uh, Slate would recognize. Huh. Which is incredibly rare for this era. They would have ran into Bajorans, but probably wouldn't know a whole lot about them. And then there's like textbooks on like various starships as well, which every captain has a few of those. Impressive library. I like to say, well, Red, I've learned that I have to be ready to improvise when the case arises. It does help. All right, also... Commander. What the hell did you? What the hell are you talking about when it comes to this illegitimate uh, force that you're talking of? Um, are you familiar with Article Four, Section Thirty-One? Fourteen. Fourteen. Sorry. Uh, Article Fourteen, Section Thirty-One. Uh, it's extraordinary circumstances. Something to do. Uh, it's the one where. If the Federation is an existential threat, you are permitted to do whatever is necessary. It's kind of where the General Order 23 and 31 are derive their power from. What happened? A specific group of individuals who take Section 31 very literally and all the time is, I suppose, the easiest way to say it, or to break it down. They will use any and all means to ensure the Federation's security so far as they see it. What organization is this? I've never heard of such a thing. We just call it's in them the name. Section, we just call them Section 31. They don't have any other designation so far as we're concerned. I've never gotten any security update about them. She looks at the Commodore, like, almost accusatory, like, why wasn't I briefed on this? <laughs> They're not official. They are not endorsed. They are not sanctioned. They operate, however. And we're not quite sure who funds them. Well, if they're a security threat, the Starfleet Security must uh, alert all the captains. I mean, they talk about the Aridani Pirates, the Orion Syndicate. There's to some alert. new trading concern near the core that we're told about, and that's just people selling stuff, but we're told about it. You're telling Can me that a big intelligence organization isn't alerted to a captain? Can you imagine the panic that might happen should the existence of 31 become quite public knowledge? That there are people within the Federation, like Mr. Trisha Schreer there. Commodore, you can't expect me to keep this quiet. This is a criminal action. I'm not banishing this guy just because it, it might look the brass back home look bad. I mean, good on your, secure your intelligence guy to catch him, but he shouldn't have gotten anywhere near here, and I should have been briefed about this. Hell, everyone should be. This should be on every news net in the Federation. You'll find that people who try to speak out against Section 31 and spread the word often find their uh, often find their attempts quashed by people very high up the ladder, and those people often end up going missing, taking an early retirement. It is a troubling matter that we have to look into, and we are continuing to look into it. But it's much easier to look into when it's not being publicly put on blast. Hmm. 
you try to shine a light on them, they'll just fade back into the shadows until the fuss dies down. Then, come right back out again. That's why you're here. You weren't here for the damn test, you were here for Thrax. Well, not him specifically. But we had an inkling that somebody, somebody on the inside was trying to interfere with the project. And if we had been upfront about what we were looking for, we would have spooked him. Presence plus command, difficulty three. Wakeman is obviously irate about this, and you're trying to explain to her there's reasons why you're doing what you're doing without also without just straight up telling her, by the way, we're from the future. We didn't know this was happening either. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, I'm, I'm assuming I can assist with this question mark? Yep. Present security yep. assist? Uh, I'm spending three momentum. I don't have a focus, I don't think, but... Uh... For talking someone down? Uh, unless sure. diplomacy comes into play, but I doubt it. Uh, I take diplomacy here because you are trying. You are trying. You're not ordered to do anything. You're trying to talk her into your way of thinking. Ring roll. Um, can Slate oh, hang on. assist with? The... I'll take the first one. Yeah. yeah. Take Slate and assist with a security instead. Sure. Because. I'm here to offer the input on that limited. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> nice. Uh, then that's two momentum. Or no. Three momentum, yeah. Uh, three momentum generated. <sighs> I am unofficially stating that I oppose this policy of keeping such a thing secret. I find it unfederational and downright disappointing of Starfleet. However, I'm not about to draw a phaser over it, as it were. So I'll let you have your Thex and your investigation, but I still have my duty to the Endorian people to carry on this test. Unless that is also some sort of smokescreen. No. Okay. You find out... what he's doing. And deal with him. I also want your help to... carry on this deception your lieutenant uh, suggested. With the Klingons watching us so closely, we can't afford to allow advanced technology to fall into their hands. Though, I am confused. There's one thing that niggles at me. If they were worried about a threat to the Federation, wouldn't they want us to finish this test? Have an advanced new torpedo system? Why would they want the Orion Syndicate or the Klingons to have it? So they could have it for their own private ships? They might be going through an angle of arm our enemies, so we have to arm ourselves. If that's a reason why For we all. disagree with the, them as a principle. Their after all, means for reaching a goal are catastrophic. After all, it's harder to justify uh, increasing arms across the entire fleet uh, if the threat isn't up to par. Hmm. Well, I have my mission to do, Commodore, so it's up to you where you want to put your officers. I know at least one, we'll want to speak with this Vex at some point, but we also need as many people as we can to pull off this deception if we want to make sure the Cleons don't catch wind of it. Hmm. If you want, I could try talking to Vex myself. You're the senior officer, sir, and you're, I'm letting this be your investigation. I'm to help and achieve my mission. What do you think, Slayton? Would you rather speak to him? Or would you rather head up the uh, subterfuge from, uh, from the bridge? 
Uh, I could do... Hmm. I could definitely surprise uh, Dr. Shrishrir, I'm certain. But I don't know who else would be able to carry on the subterfuge on the bridge, given the nature of it. Shrishrir seems to have been quite tactical-minded. And while Surya is good, she is a scientist. Good. In that case, I'll see what I can get out of Thex. Maybe I can apply some of that, uh, good old-fashioned rank. Or you can just talk him to boredom, sir. I represent that statement, Lieutenant Commander. Very good, sir. Wigman raises an eyebrow, kind of amused, kind of surprised at how casual a uh, officer is talking to a Commodore. <laughs> and when Slate, as soon as Slayton leaves, the Commodore looks to the captain and says, oh. he's saved my life a few times. We all command in our different ways, Commodore. I'll take care of uh, I'll take care of things down in the bridge for the time being. Uh, Slayton, uh, you carry on with my authority. Yes, yeah, sir. I will be back, and the Commodore. So the Commodore is off to deal with Thex. All right, so the false plan has been put up. So the Norwest keeps the shields up like it was before. It very slowly advances the Tiber, or the Tiber. Acting all the while that, oh, no, no, no. We're not worried about anything in here. We just have our shields up, you know, just in case. You know, we're just doing some pre-prep uh, testing before we do anything. Uh, so this part is easy because it's just a matter of the ship over here, okay? And all the while you can see... Da, 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 da. They're all just turning to keep their bows pointed at the uh, Norwest because that's where the torpedo tube is. <laughs> Um, where all of their weapons are. Yeah. All right. Bring us alongside the Tabor. All right. Well, Commander, what measure of team do you think are we should bring over on the shuttle? Because we can't beam that thing over without comp without potentially compromising the torpedo. Just I was like, is our shuttle there? Yeah, no, we parked our shuttle on the Norwest. Yep, it's on the Norwest. No, I was just wondering with, with, with our con officer on the, the planet. Yeah, no. Our con officer would be on the Norwest. Oh. Because she's end. with the shuttle. Yeah. Uh, okay. So maybe we can take it across with our engineer and con officer? Mm hmm. Um, cake. Con officer, uh, engineer. Surya, do you think you would be needed for positioning of the weapon? I'm not overly familiar with it. Uh, Slayton, you can walk that back. Placing it would be a security thing anyway. You're Placing deploying an explosive. Okay. Well, do we need someone continue? Like, is it also a tactical thing to continue deceiving these guys? Uh, yeah, because you have to trick their security guys into thinking something's wrong. But you also have to hide the actual signature because they're you. You guys have the right angle on it. They will have an increased difficulty because they have to stay low power and they probably mm -hmm. aren't getting the assist of their ships. But they still can scan, and if, especially this guy, he's only at medium range to you. He's very close. Well, um, Isala does have like a two in security, so she could do that type of job on board. I mean, that's assuming that uh, the capsule from the Norwest does not have any security staff of her own. 
who she would deem appropriate to send to arm the device. Do we trust They've done uh, it once you... before. They've actually done it once before, so. You could buy uh, a security detail uh, with. Uh, I think um, it's two. One and one. Yeah. Because okay. it's at least one escalation and one a moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. For a security detail. But she, 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 you know, she would approve you buying one up, well, buying one, organizing one for her, well, with her. Yeah. It's Actually, like, uh, oh. she will try to. Oh, no, she can't. If it's leaving the ship, it costs. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was going to have it's her like, roll. It's like, it, that doesn't matter if it's leaving the I ship. Should, I was going to say, she has also had her crew do this once before. So. Yeah. It makes sense from that point of view. If I can't go over personally, then send the other people who have experience. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, so it'd be what? It'll be Theroni, Rad. Would um, Amber come with us for certain purposes? I. Uh, we have no control over her. But... Um, I'm trying to think what would be best from a time uh, age of perspective because the mission. Her role is to help you escape, like get back home. So she has to try to be out of danger, but at the same time be close enough that if you need to leave, she's right there. Uh, so she would want to stay near the largest group of people she could, but at the same time, there is a there is the problem that you might have that you're the Commodore without your escape, because she's basically your escape pod. She is your shuttle mm -hmm. out of this time period. So wherever she goes, she's the way off. And actually, she needs to be on the ship to do it. That has a warp engine, because that's how the device works. So it uses a warp engine to warp time. Right, so she'll probably on stay on. Uh, shuttles don't have warp drives. Oh, she could do it on... Oh, but you're using your shuttle, the one that she brought up first. So yeah, so yeah, she could go over... She could stay on the shuttle. Yep. Yep. She just stays there. Uh, yeah, that seems like a decent enough party to go across. Why does Kobinian have a momentum? Hmm? I don't know why he has a oh. momentum. I must have How grabbed it. Oh, I must have grabbed it back soon. Well, I'm saving it for Thursday. Okay. I get to bring it with well, me. Time to keep running disruption on the Klingons to give our away team a solid chance. So who's going on the shuttle? This is the group going on the shuttle? Yes. Yep. So. Yeah, so here. I think the uh, false messages is just, yep, yeah, we're just sending over another cr the crew over just to make sure testing places are correct and good to go. All right, so oppose control plus security. Uh, Saria can assist with uh, control plus uh, plus security or engineering because it's a communications thing. Um, would you allow um, reason trying to come up with uh, like key words? Uh, I would take presence instead. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly daring. If you were gonna, if you were gonna try to take some wild shots in the dark at what you think Klingons would find interesting, that is slightly better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have an order of the bat that I can go daring. It's the exact same score as my control. <laughs> and uh, the pilot can assist with daring or control plus con to kind of fly casual. So it's one big operation where you're all kind of moving at the same. Everything's fine. Don't worry like, about whistling it. Whistling over the ship speakers. <laughs> How do you put a ship's po hands in its pockets? Just, I don't know, fold in the cell, clearly. Um, so, you guys are good. Opposed. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to guess that you're buying all dice here. Uh, I'm going to buy some dice. They uh -huh. are not on as high alert as they otherwise would be, because they, you guys have given them a good cover story, but they are they do want to succeed. Yep. Uh, one threat to momentum. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it that way. Okay. Um, guerrilla warfare focus, or lead by example, or chain of command. 
chain of command, you're kind of keeping all the pieces moving while still making sure that Captain Wakeman gets the final call. Like, you're trying not to overstep her because that's a yeah. good way to make a captain skate. You know what? I'm not doing this anymore. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> right. You outrank me. Forgot. <laughs> oh, okay. Up to yeet. Hmm. L less than impressive yeet, to be honest. Let's see what all the assists and their role okay, ends up as. So, for Sil, Team Dynamics. Uh, yes. She is a dynamic teammate. And by Conifacy, did you mean Taroni? Yes. Okay, and it was wow. what? Control Con? Control or Daring Con? Uh, I think I'll go Daring and Helm Control. And, oh, the Norwest would help with comms plus security, because that's the primary system being done here. One second. Sure. So you just say, what was it, um, communication? Correct. Shoot. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Just. And okay, Vard has got a reroll. I have a reroll. Oh, let me, let me eat another complication into this. Never mind. <laughs> right. We gained three. Yep. I was holding on the reroll for once. For once, I have learned that I still had my determination, so if I really needed to reroll, <laughs> I could have done it that way. Yeah, I've got into that habit as well, just seeing how bad the roll is and just choosing yeah. which other methods to go with. Because sometimes it is like, I used my free reroll first, and now I need it. <laughs> Ah, here's the casual music. So, uh, the shuttle moves to land on the Tiber, and uh, lots of destruction, uh, distraction and messages. The shuttle not moving, moving actually a little faster than is really the safest when you have a torpedo aboard, but you're kind of, that's the idea. You're trying to act like everything's fine. We're just buzzing over real quick, get this done before we actually move the torpedo over. I don't think they would be moving this fast if they actually had the torpedo. Uh, the away team starts hoofing the thing out off to the on a uh, sled toward a different part of the freighter. Dude, I, I just love the mental image of speeding along with a torpedo on board, and just everyone's just super stiff where this where the settles. So it's like, oh, don't move. <laughs> Why are you baking so hard? Well, that's what I would do if I was. Could you bake a little less, please? I could hear it rattling behind me. <laughs> nope. Well, then you didn't secure it properly. <laughs> so yeah, you get it over there. You uh, roll it along. Um. So to you got over, you flew over there. Now to actually place it in the right spot, daring or control plus. Uh, Security. Difficulty of zero, because you have the uh, security detail helping you. Oh, the Sala has a 12. So, I don't know what um, Vata has, because I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be taking Vata's sheet for this. Oh, me? Well, yeah, I'm not taking all of them. Oh, okay. Um... The, the Lord Engineer, uh, you have a one on security. Okay. So, uh, probably me doing it. Then. She's got a focus in structural integrity, though. Uh, I've got a focus in protocols? Question mark? I'll take it, sure. Yeah, following the protocols for playing with an experimental device. I'll just roll the two, if it says diff zero. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. Let's just let's just take it. No, let's just take it. Yeah, you're able to place it in an appropriate spot where it doesn't mess up the test. And you'll get actually pretty much the same uh you should get the same results as you were gonna get otherwise. I mean, 
not one to one, but close enough. It's within the range of variability. Like yeah, instead of like one to one, it's like point nine to one. Yeah. It's like it's uh, not the see... ideal spot, but then it's pointed out, well a torpedo being fired at a ship's never going to hit the ideal spot. Uh, would it be worth spending just a little bit more time over here to make it look like an actual inspection? Uh, yeah, and actually a new scene starts because it does take you a bit of time to do the extra song and dance to act like you're not del you're doing tests. Whoopsie. Oh, it would be Richard. I was right the first time. So, Commodore, you walk up to the where the brig is and see a couple of security officers uh, standing guard outside. Commodore? Hi. Yes. How can I help you, sir? Um, here to speak with the doctor. Is he secure? Yes, sir. Very good. I'll be going in. Uh, one of them holds out his hand. Your phaser, sir? Of course. And Glennon will hand over his phaser. He takes it, and you see him open up, he presses a key, uh, a security code, opens up a drawer behind him, puts the phaser in there, close, closes it, presses some buttons to lock it, nods at you. Like, he's, he's he makes it a very obvious motion. Here's, here's where it is, in case you want to know where it is. Like, it's part of the procedure of the time to do that, to do that in plain view of the officer. Especially someone who's higher ranking than he is. Uh, the other one presses a contact next to the door, and the door slides open. Good. Uh, and Blackford will walk in. <clears throat> you step in. Uh, you see that there is a little... Uh, it's sort of like a brig, except they don't have a console on the inside. Uh, they just have like a sort of mini food uh, dispenser, uh, a pad, a um, a chair, a nearby chair for a guard to kind of sit there, or an interrogator to sit there, and a tiny little cell uh, that Shishashir is uh, sitting in. He kind of set a. Uh, he was kind of staring up at the ceiling. He kind of sits up, and you see his antennae kind of twitch a little bit as he seems puzzled by your presence. Well, this is a certain turn of events. He stares at you. Takes a deep breath, but doesn't say anything. We've more or less worked out what's going on. I hope you understand. Your have, best ha bet will... Hmm? Have you? Yes. What have you figured out, then? We know that you've been sending messages to the Klingons. Uh, we also have a pretty good idea that you're somehow involved with the uh, Orion attack that occurred, uh, what was it, a day ago? Or was it two days ago? A day ago, uh, how, yeah. It was a day ago. <clears throat> In fact, uh, one of the only things that we have yet to directly ascertain is the exact name of whatever shadowy handler of yours uh, orchestrated all of the attacks. I told you he's the mastermind. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm giving him enough rope to hang himself up. Oh. I see. I'm making him think that I don't know. So... 
What are you planning to do with me, Commodore? I'm planning to, well, <clears throat> wait here until you tell me you're involved. And I know what you're going to say. Well, Commodore, you're going to be staying here a long time. Time is no object to me. Evidently. So, shall we save? Uh, so shall I save you some time and, well, get this all worked out? Certainly. Start talking. What do you wish to know, Commodore? Why do you want the Klingons to have this device? I don't. Then why are you trying to... Uh, then why are you telling them exactly where to find the... Uh, the payload? And exactly how to hit us. Because I have a mission that will save the f from oh. certain doom. Pray tell. How familiar are you with chronotons, Commodore? With what? Chronotons, sir. Uh, uh, passingly. Chronotons occur naturally through various materials and phenomena. It's a type of radiation that can be detected in a variety of ways and is considered one of the most uh, new radiations that we're using in computing as well as other technologies that we're expanding toward in the Federation. Supposedly, there'll be a new era of isolinear chip computers in the next few decades that will make computers of today look incredibly slow by comparison. The need mm. for data disks will be immaterial and we can min miniaturize most of our technology. Now, however, I'm, as powerful I'm as sure. it is, there is one extra application of chronotons. The reason it's so useful, the reason temporal, it temporal is... Temporal manipulation. Exactly. That's why computers can go faster. That's why everything well, the decay is a little slower. But what if you detonated such a thing on a massive scale, like a payload or a torpedo or a planet buster? You could set a whole planet, a whole ship, a hundred years in age. Forget bioweaponry. Imagine your liver suddenly becoming a hundred years older than the rest of you. This kind of weaponry cannot and should not be built. So I'm going to make sure it goes into the hands of idiots who don't know what they have, get themselves killed, and have it destroyed. By doing this, I ensure that Starfleet, the Klingons, and the Romulans don't get their hands on my technology. How are you to say that they won't figure out how to use it? They won't sell it to someone who does know how to use it. Because I'm the only one who knows how to do it. No one else is anywhere close to what I can do. Do not underestimate the research and development teams of the Andorian Imperial Guard. We've been at this longer than you humans have been. And if we want something to disappear, we can make it disappear for the good of the galaxy. The fact that your Starfleet okays this project shows their naivete. I want to get a read on him. Is he being forthcoming? Uh, opposed role. Insight plus command. It's jerk. Um, three momentum. Deception focus? Uh, you could certainly use that, yeah. Um, just as a warning. Oh, did you already roll? Well, yeah. Spinning toward the value, success at it. 
Yeah, someone shot oh, the gun a focused. little soon then, didn't they? Yeah. One, two, three, buying dice. Using this instead of that. Oof. Yeah, I should have spent determination. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. Seven versus one, two, three, five. Generate two threat. Yep. As far as you can tell, he seems on the level. He means what he says in every word. You actually almost get a hint of pend in there. A very stern, no nonsense. I'm doing this. There's a reason I'm doing what I'm doing, sort of mentality. And doesn't isn't brooking argument on the fact I'm right, you're wrong, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Though he seems a little more nice about it, which is odd. Yeah. But... Well, fuck you. Maybe too. it's the era. <laughs> See, Thex well, here doesn't curse like Pen, so. You are aware that this test is going to proceed now. Not if you and I stop it, Commodore. You let this happen. And the face of war will change. We don't have time. None of us do. Yes. One second. Don't you dare let him out of that fucking room. Yeah. No, no, not gonna. Especially after we've just come up with this decent plan of getting it done. Yeah. Yep. I'm back. So I need your help, Commodore, to help save the galaxy. Otherwise, the face will be to change. Time is also on my side. I hear what you're saying, and I understand this is a weapon that probably should not be in the hands of the Federation so soon. I'll see to it that this technology doesn't get far. But you have to trust me. Wrong person to say that to. Yeah. Do you trust me, Blackford? Well, whether or not you trust me, I'm the one on the other side of the security screen. You see him flinch his face like he... Like a... Almost like a tick or a twitch. And you hear a... <laughs> noise of the force field going off and he just continue he just folds his hands on his lap so if trust I, me or it, not i'm your only bet at this point. he stands up commodore if i thought you were a threat to the federation there's nothing that would stop me from walking over this threshold and throttling you where you stand so understand this. Shisha Shreers do not threaten lightly. So if oh, you do this, Gra you and I will have Blackford. nothing to worry about. Blackford looks over at Shisha Shreer when he says that a Shisha Shreer will stop at nothing. And he says, oh. No, that's not I what he know. said. He said he does not make idle threats. Oh, yeah. No, didn't he say that a Shisha Shreer does not Idle threats. Idle? Isn't that what he just... Yeah. He said, oh, I know. I know. So understand that if you achieve this and do what you say you'll do, 
then fine. I'll go to some prison somewhere, probably on Andor, and serve up my time. If you don't, I will find you, and I will kill you. I have heard that somewhere before. He flinches his face again, and you, you see the pop back into place. Yeah. He sits back down. Good luck on your mission, Commodore. I'll be watching. Very good. And Commodore Blackford is going to depart. And oh boy, I need to have a word with, um, I need to have word with our temporal officer. Uh, Commodore, your phaser? Yes, of course. Thank you. He opens it up. Spent two threat. He hands you the phaser. Here you go, sir. Very good. Blackford's gonna just sort of flick it around in his hand. And reholster. So he's going to go to find um, where and sort of fill her in on what uh, what claims the doctor has made. Okay. Where do you believe where is? Hmm. Uh, what was her cover? Uh, she was a consultant that came with you on the shuttle. Mm hmm. Then he's probably... Shuttle. Will you ignore? Yep. Yeah. Huh? Unless someone. Yep, she's definitely on the shuttle. She's definitely on the shuttle. Yep. The shuttle's definitely, definitely on, the on the ship. It's definitely not on the ship. Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. Cr scratch that roll. They basically said it out right. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is on the? Is over on the Tiber right now. You're on the Norwest. In that case, I need to find, um, I need to find, uh, Slayton. You go up to the bridge and you find Slayton and Wakeman kind of, they're waiting for the away team to be done and they're getting updates that they're doing scan on beta sector, finished beta sector, now moving on to delta sector. Like they're, they're pretending that they're doing their scans. I mean, they are actually mm -hmm. scanning, so it looks like they're doing that, but it's a lot of Slayton and Wakeman just sitting there going, yeah, we're we're just waiting for this charade to be done with. <laughs> Meanwhile, checking it with sensors. Are the Klingons doing anything? No. Okay, time to wait some more. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Slayton, you have a minute. I have this Slayton. You go on. Not like it, it's hard not to keep track of so many movies. She grins like you guys have been. The complicated part now is just. The, the the home stretch. Uh, uh, that's not promoting. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you're safe, everything goes wrong. So Blackford and Satan uh, step out of the room. Yep. Right. Are you in a corridor somewhere, or one of the offices yeah. on the decks? Yeah, I'll find us a nice little cubby hole. No keys. No. Um. Keys. Well, I heard an interesting tidbit from the doctor. He seems to believe it so. He believes that if this weapons test goes forward, it's going to send the Federation down a dangerous path.
he claimed that he did this because he wanted this technology to fall into the hands of people who wouldn't know how to use it. This falls under the auspices of our mission. Our greater mission. To ensure minimal impact. So, Slayton? You, you there, Sorry, bud? I just got back. I was typing the th things. I got an important message that I needed to reply to, um, uh, which is very fitting of an intelligence officer, actually. He's just sitting there ignoring you typing on a pad. Um, yes, sorry, say it again. How much of that? Did you not hear any of that? Nope. Um, so he's basically going to fill you in on the fact that Dr. Dr. Shakespeare uh, said that he was doing this because he didn't want the technology to proceed. He wanted it to fall into the hands of people who wouldn't know how to use it. And it would just become forgotten. So he wants the technology to never exist. Technically. The reflection. To, to fade into obscurity. Which... Right. We, we, the quantum torpedoes are very, very effective for, you know, uh, the board. Right. The problem is... These weapons utilize chroniton, uh, uh, chroniton energies. They fight with temporal manipulation, and in his opinion, it's a, um, in his opinion, it's a technology that, uh, goes beyond the horror of biogenic. We are both fully aware that the Federation Council will never approve the use of the weapon with the Carnotons on it. It's inhumane, to say the least. I don't know. Still doesn't add up. I feel like we're missing something. Given the situation for it, that's distinctly possible. Oh, yeah. Huh. Mm. Oh, did you just throw at me an insight command diff two check? Is that what that is? Or is that something to Yeah, okay, that's true. Yes. Okay. Uh, take it up momentum. Sorry, I had a uh, very tasty food in my mouth and I was trying to <laughs> give you that, hit that roll before I lost track of it. Uh, just slight and what will assist. Sure. I've generated I'm... a momentum, so it gets me one more. Nope. It's okay. It occurs to you that if the council wouldn't approve it, then given how top secret this is, it's possible either Section 31 pulled this off, this whole test, because they could manipulate information in such a way that they could make something happen that shouldn't. Or uh, you two know from the from the uh, Dominion War that some there are some admirals who think themselves above the Federation and take the matters into their own hands. And if they keep it secret and quiet enough, people might not notice what's going on until it's too late. Okay. But it occurs to you both that there's no way in the the, the even the Federation Council of this era would have this this uh, mission, this this project. They would it, someone would have vetoed it. Like the uh, any number of counselors would have vetoed it. 
Okay. So we happen to have a very uh, independent and free-thinking captain here. And one who does not seem to be exactly squeamish about blowing horns or whistles or whatever the phrase is. I think we might just have our end. She'll see the test result. She can pass on the test result to people who, sh I'm assuming, whoever's cheating on the secret wouldn't want to know. There we go. Who would what? People who, the whoever's behind this wouldn't want to know, as in counselors or upstanding admiralty. The people right. you would want to keep the project secret from. Right. And then they can just litigation kill it, because that that happens to many many things. I agree. Let's bring uh, let's bring the captain into this. Of course, not the greater ramifications, but let's bring her in. Your call. And uh, the Commodore and Slate will go back onto the bridge. I mean, I'm assuming we're not talking with her on the bridge about it, but hey. No, no, but we need to go back to her. Captain. Commodore? A we're almost set to uh, have the away team. Very good. Uh, before you do, I need to have a word with you. Commodore? I think you might like this. She'll walk over to she'll walk over to her office. As the three of you walk over to the office, new scene as we jump forward in the future. If I could find the thing I'm looking for. Where did it go? Oh, it's my nightmare. So much a relax. <laughs> In the current star date, Pend, you step out uh sorry you are sitting put you down that'd be awesome go down there you're sitting in the lounge uh somewhere in dsc uh you have a couple of problems <clears throat> on your desk uh one the captain it's been a week captain's not back from his special mission uh yet so the admiralty uh review is being delayed um which means various other administrative things have kind of been pushed off to you as the strategic operations officer for the squadron. Um, I mean, nothing new, I guess, but at the same time, it, it's delaying whether or not the squadron is going to be... Because this briefing in his report will change whether or not Tiger Squadron remains a squadron, if it's disbanded, if it's upgraded to a flotilla, if it's moved to, to an entire fleet. Like, the, it, like, there's a big question hanging over everyone's career in the squadron. And until his mission's done, they can't really answer it. Which means you kind of have to hold you know, hold the fort and maintain the status quo for as long as possible. Uh, so it doesn't have something new to report. Uh, but just to add to your headache, you get a, you got a report uh, in the middle of the night uh, that the Maxwell Plank reports that they no longer, that they have lost contact uh, with uh, Commander Myth in the Orvin system. Uh, you get an official report of uh, the exo's report on what exactly transpired and what they discussed and uh at this point he is he would like to requisition uh extra time to continue the search uh for myth uh in the orvan system because right now the part the ship sat in the orvan system for too long and you could tell reading between the lines that the exo 
tried to buy me time by just saying, well, I'm doing extra scans. So nothing to report to you. But after a week, you can't be radio silent. Eventually, HQ is going to wonder what's going on. Like, okay, are you done yet? And wh where's your next report? And technically, Maxwell Planck, after losing a CO, is supposed to be recalled. It has to be recalled and investigated. But he's asking permission to stay and continue looking for Myth. But it falls to that becomes a squadron decision at that point. <clears throat> Normally, it would go all the way to Nea, but it stops with you guys because he's part of the squad. So. so that was a thing you've had time to think about and enjoy your morning and have a coffee and maybe not break anything. Be right back. On the plus side, uh, it sounds like the uh, uh, Achilles is doing well. Uh, a lot of standing around, seeing a ship come by, and they go, hey, can we have a look? And the Achilles is going, no, go away. Or what? Or we shoot you. Go away. <laughs> oh, okay, we leave now. All right. Well, that was yeah. easy. We just have to tell them to go away. The benefit of being a strategic heavy cruiser. <laughs> a bit of force projection. So their mission has been pretty tame. And Kismet's tied down at, at Aegis because they can't move until they're... Well, they can move. You could order them back if you want, uh, but they're kind of, they were kind of there to escort the uh, fleet captain or uh, rear admiral, depending on how it went, or maybe take them all the way to Earth, but they don't know what's going on any more than... They know as much as you do. Var uh, both Varder and the captain are busy. They've been busy for a week. They're like, well, what do you want us to do, sir? We could, we could stay here or we can come back. Well, it's, uh, also, I've been trying to get in contact with Ivo. Wartburg or Solari about something. Uh, I which one would you... I'd uh, prefer Wartburg. Uh, you'll get you can actually get Wartburg if you want. Uh, you can meet you for dinner. Could it have been slightly in the past? Uh, it would have been around the same time because he only just got back from. Okay. Because he he had to go off and do something. Uh. He'll explain what it is if you ask him, but there's there's a reason he was away. If I can find his token, that'd be awesome. Yeah, because I was going to make him a proposition about the dust machine. Yeah. Oh, right. that, that's why I was thinking, like, slightly in the past, just before the Achilles went. Yeah, no. Uh, there was a reason why he was not a story. He's able to meet up with you. Wolfgang, pleasure to meet you so soon after returning. Yeah, I rushed back as soon as I could. Uh, I had a bit of an issue with the Klingons I needed to deal with, so... And I had to speak with uh, Haggard about the situation. And actually, I've been wanting to talk with you. <clears throat> um, is your Varder... Uh, have you seen Varder? Uh, he's currently deployed on a special mission with the cap, the fleet captain. See, I wondered about that. That's why I asked Haggard about it. Um, officially, Starfleet seems to be saying they don't know where he is. Um, let's just say I don't have the time right now to go into that temporal affairs he's not a temporal agent what the heck would they be wanting with him again i i don't you have, know of. yeah i i don't have the time right now to go into that issue right <laughs> so what issue do you have time for well I know I've had some of your people poking and prodding wanting to have a look at a certain floating station in Sector 0606. Mm -hmm. And if they went there illegally, they would clearly be shooed away, or if they boarded, they would be arrested. Mm -hmm. But what if they were given permission to go on board? No, I was wondering about that. That's why I had to duck away to Peugeot. I was hoping to get official uh, authorization from the Starport Authority. Well, the council, anyway, but that well, didn't really go anywhere. Well, if you 
send a detachment to the Achilles with some forewarning from me, you could just be helping secure the place. As civilian consultants, because we would be familiar with the technology, we have to make sure we bring around the, the right scientists and engineers. Correct. Could actually help out and get our research done, or at least the scans. So I'd, I'd definitely be, be willing to go along with that play, but there would be a cost. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm nice. I'm not that nice. Hmm. You're clearly going to be going through the station's computer systems and whatever information you can gain, correct? That's the idea, yeah. Okay. I want everything. They didn't give you permission to take the computers yet. No. If we happen to get them... And I would like a, a complete copy of everything you gain. Obviously, this would have to clearly not be a conversation we're having. No, Obviously, no. Not, not a secret conversation, but uh, clearly it's uh, something that shouldn't happen. Missing data or copied data? How could that leave the station? Um. Hmm. Let me think. The Achilles would be assisting in this endeavor. All right, I have an idea. Um, I don't think we should hand off. We do the handoff too much. We there's too much uh, of a cover up that we'd have to do in that situation. But I could hand it off to a package to Telpak and ask them to hand it off to you. So that breaks the chain of anyone following and then it should be able to get to you. I have some strings I can pull with the Cleons, and since they're friendly with you guys, that should get you your data while keeping your officers from being wrapped up in this. I appreciate that, because mm. I know you have your specific interests in that station, and I want to get, gain as much information on the type of technology they use, so if it comes around mm -hmm. again, we have some form of defense against it. Uh, all right. So I, yeah, I can do that. That's easy. And I'll uh, try to up once we learn anything more about what we find up from the data. But uh, yeah, we can do that. I'll have um, he takes out a pad and starts fl uh, flipping through it. Let's see, who should I send out there? Uh, I'll send out the cost Holana to meet up with the Achilles, and uh, they'll work with your crew to perform a interstellar safety and health he shrugs like it's a it's a, it's a thin excuse roll it's a eh, we're just checking it for safety reasons but you you both know what he's really after uh, yep that sounds perfectly fine i'll have the paperwork done on the achilles's end to render assistance and protection during these uh safety precautions mm. so uh yeah so is there anything else you would like to ask only that not so much to ask but I haven't been in intelligence for like I haven't been knee deep in Starfleet intelligence for a bit but I'm noticing some weird movements going on I've been some of my agents have been talking about something going on at Starbase Ages. And it ha the fact that's happening right around when your fleet captain was at his 
interview right around when I lose contact with Varder and you lose contact with your intelligence officer and the fact that time is involved I think someone's made a move the problem is I don't know who it is yet because I don't think it's you because well not your guys' style really and this doesn't sound like an SI operation so uh, before we can Continue this conversation. I've enjoyed mm. a lovely breakfast. Would you care to, to take a walk with me? He looks around. Sure. And I'll lead him somewhere where I can lock down all communications. You step into a, a nearby uh, mini office off the lounge, and you, you're able to lock it down because you're you're the senior officer aboard DSE. You have absolute station. <laughs> so I, I assume you can be responsible with information, considering what we're about to do elsewhere. Yep. Uh, apparently, on the way to Aegis, they were hit by some type of chronotonic wave and sent back to the time of uh, the initial testings of quantum torpedoes. Oh, the chronoton test. Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, whole thing got swept off the rug when it uh, when uh, intelligence found out about it. As in, it didn't go ahead, or they just it went ahead, and everyone went, "No, let's not do that again." There was an agreement between a Endorian scientist at the time. The file is very vague, even back then. But I remember there was an Endorian scientist. It's something to do with uh, a Klingon uh, officer, and they made an agreement at the Klingon border, and then the project just got shelved. Uh, very hush hush, very high level stuff. I had to dig around just to find out what was going on at the time. Um, I was just, I was just off the Argo. I was hearing about it on Vulcan, and people were asking me if that was something I was up to. And even the Argo started investigating it for a little bit because it sounded all fishy. You know, one worries about Section Thirty One of all things trying to steal that tech, but no, the tech just got shelved and officially forgotten about. Well, how would you like some information you're not going to enjoy? Someone went back in time to mess with the test. Yeah, and the Andorian is Fex. Such a shrey. The Captain and Vada with Temporal Affairs have gone back in time to make sure the test goes ahead. What? No, no, no. They, they would send their own agents to send the ship. I don't know the specifics. Officers. They might have sent someone with them. I don't know, but I know for a fact that they're going back. Because apparently during their first accidental excursion to that time something went wrong and I don't know. Pend, you need to get back there. This is a trap. Someone sent them back in time on purpose. Think about it. You have one of the largest fleets in the tenth. The tenth has ever fielded uh, con continuously since its founding. Suddenly, you're going to have one of the youngest of admirals about to rise up, and then he gets poofed away back in time. And if you wanted to get rid of a rather troublesome officer, wouldn't you just leave him behind? So how he doesn't know how to time travel. How would you suggest I get back there? I don't have a time machine. You took flight school. You just go to the nearby sun, or to the particular angle, and calculate to the time variable. It's a bit beyond me. He holds up his hands. I never did flight, but I've been told that it, I've been through the uh, a time jump before. It's delicate, but modern ships should be able to pull it off. I imagine something like the Maxwell or the uh, Kismet could pull it off. I, I wouldn't try with the Achilles, though. It's a bit heavy. I don't have 
either of those available right now. Well, aren't you the senior officer of the squadron? Well, the Maxwell Plank has currently lost its CO and is trying to find it. The Achilles is doing something somewhere that we know of. And the Kismet is already at Aegis. So recall it back. I mean, uh, if you want, we could take my Oberth. I mean, it would at least fit in with the period. I think that might be better. Because I don't think warping back to that time in a Lunar class is going to be inconspicuous. I hate time travel. All right. Great. Um, I'll see you on the Bondo then. And, uh... You're probably gonna want to arm up. Yeah. I get the feeling we're gonna be dealing with Klingon Section 31 and a very confused fleet captain. Yeah. Oh. That means we gotta wear those old time uniforms, doesn't it? Yeah, this was. Actually, scratch a bit about him being on the Argo, because that was... I just remember. It would have been when he was uh, intelligence off. Backwards. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, you would be wearing either gold if you want to stay in command, uh, or flight. If you want to play up your security intelligence angle, you'd be wearing red. Ah, bloody hell. Mind you, you might be a bit conspicuous as a Tellarite wearing the gold in this time period. Why? Tellarites are founding members of the Federation. Have they been able to make captain by that point? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll remain in gold. I'll look up some captain names that are suitable for the era. And Jesus Christ, I'm going back in time. Well, we'll be sure to change into uniform, unless you want to bring all... I mean, if you want to bring some people, you're free to, but frankly, I think it's better we stick with the people who know the Bondo best. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll go, I'll, I'll keep my weapon hidden, but considering we've got temporal shenanigans, I'd rather keep a... Well, a deadly weapon available. Yeah. So I will say the only the only catch with the with the Ober that at the time it would be considered we're somewhat we would be the most advanced science ship for the era. They were on drawing boards, but we can play up the angle that we are test driving the thing, shakedown crews and all that, or some other special mission or another. So, but we won't break the timeline too much. Although I'll deal with temporal affairs since well it's my ship that we're going back in, so that'll be a fun conversation. Yay! See you there, Captain. Yeah, see you there. See you then. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, time travel jokes. Meanwhile, back in time. Blackbird, Slayton, and Wakeman are all in the Captain's office. Verona kind of just turns around. I get the feeling you're going to give me bad news. I'm going to give you very confusing news. We've been getting very conflicting accounts as to whether or not the doctor even want this, uh, wants this technology to continue or not. We think it's well, quite possible that somebody is manipulating events to try to get this technology to continue so that they can take advantage of it, whether or not it gets shot down by the Federation Council. Well, it's how you describe this Section 31. is Exactly. So we should worry about reinforcements, is what you're saying. That... But we should worry about 
It's more of politics. If this goes forward, Captain, I need you to make sure that before anyone can try to take command of this device, that the Federation Council learns about. Commodore, what are you, you say, talking about? They approved it. Say, They're the ones that, that sent it, right? Think about I'm the not... device, Captain. Uh, what is it supposed to do upon impact to an enemy vessel? Uh, the report said that it was to ageify the material and cause decay of the uh, hull plate. Uh, part of the test, uh, from what I was told by uh command was that it was going to we were going to fine tune it so it only affected organic targets not organic targets so we weren't just melting people we were just melting hull plating now still what, pretty nasty but now what with, do you suppose would happen if an organization like section 31 or some other um, unaligned agency were to get their hands on this technology Having self, having already had someone else do the hard lifting, or someone who simply thought they were above the council. I'm getting really worried about this conversation that we're all having. What exactly are you suggesting I do? You need to bring this to the council. I have a feeling that there are a lot of people in the council that don't know this. Problem. I can write intelligence files and reports, but you're a captain, and you're the one that's been here in this project the longest. The Commodore is the sort of person that just kind of vanishes. So we just call the thing back. We call off the test. Bring the weapon back and report this. Warp out of here and let the Andorians hang over. We need to make sure that this is something that the Federation Council actually approved. Alright then, well, with your leave then, I'm gonna call the uh, weapon back and I'm gonna set course back to Earth. Nothing's catching us once we get that thing aboard. Right. We have to be very careful. Can't shake the feeling that somehow the three of us have walked into a deadly trap. This is why intelligence is not fun. <laughs> Don't worry, change into gold. It gets easier. <laughs> she walks out of the room back to the bridge. Now what's our next step, Commodore? We need, <clears throat> we need to start preparing to depart. We need to, uh, we need to keep the Klingons guessing. We'll need to talk with Weir when they return with the shuttle. Gained a threat. Oh. Everything's fine, don't worry. So you two are in the captain's office. What do you do? Well, there's no more reason to be in here, so... Leave. Yep. Hold on. Wait. Oh, waiting. Yep. Slayton. Sir. <laughs> Anytime we've ever had conversations like this, we've always been in our own office with our own security protocols. 
What kind of security protocols do they have in a captain's office like this? Several. Uh, do I need to roll to recall these? Because I don't know them off the top of my head. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, GM, you can just say no. You don't have to make a big 12. <laughs> you don't have to be a jerk about it. Diff 100. All right, all right. Now, I mean, I did once give my players a diff 10 task, and it was a thing where uh, one player led and everyone got to assist. Yeah. Oh, inside security diff. Okay. Um, yeah, just diff one. You Especially since you're thinking back in time. You're thinking what used to be the case. Yeah. Do any of my focuses come into play for this one? Uh, your face comes into fa uh, play. No, um, focus in my face. Got it? Yeah, that's very useful. It comes up a lot. Oh. Mirrors, mostly. Um, guerrilla warfare at complication. Okay. I'll give you a threat. made three momentum uh yeah captain's quarter i mean most of the ship can be monitored uh for black boss purposes um you know in case the ship fell in combat or some disaster the crew could look some other crew could look this up so similar to your time period they had a very uh they had like huge data tapes somewhere on the ship mm -hmm. captain's quarters could be locked off for security for security purposes but there's usually something record there's usually either if it's not being recorded on the master computer, it's being recorded on a local computer that only the captain has the key for. Because it's sort of the emergency. It's also it's meant for captains to be able to check each other's log in case they lose ships, but they wanted to keep it hush hush from the rest of the mm -hmm. ship. Yeah, all, almost all recording, all uh, activities on the ships are recorded for safety purposes, safety and security purposes. Yeah, we'll see that. You don't think someone's possibly tapped that, do you? It's always possible. Checking it and proving it are the harder parts. Hmm. It's just a possibility, but one I want to consider. Consider. Let's go. Okay, sir. bad feeling about this. Alright, uh... The away team uh, has done a lot of walking around in circles, pretending that they're, uh... doing their scans and stuff. And you finally finished your last quote-unquote scan trying very pointedly to ignore the big old torpedo in the middle of the room. Do we suddenly receive an order to bring it back? Uh, yep, you, uh... Flip up, you hear your uh, little communicator beep at you. Whoops, Ugh, that wasn't gonna work, hold on. But give me insight plus security or engineering difficulty of uh, one to notice something as you're talking. Hey, Lord Engineer. Lord yes, what engineer. is it? Oh, yes. ha ha ha. Yes. <laughs> Fuck, I closed the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Not very Lord Engineer of you, is it? Where'd I put it? There. Not that sheet. This sheet. Ha ha. I got it right. Okay. Uh, insight. Yeah. Engineering. Uh, communication system focus. Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. Ha -ha. It's something that's happening in the room. Oh, structural integrity. Transporters. 
Transporters, yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you have? Uh, a momentum. Hmm. Okay, back Damn. in two more. Yeah. Hey, FRX. So uh, we've j so yeah. we've been trip we're being triple crossed. Yeah. Uh, as your uh, as a uh, you know the uh, your con officer flips over a communicator to start talking back, going, "Yeah, who, what is this?" Uh, Lauren Engineer kind of looks. So here's a noise that she's heard a million times. It sounds you know the old fashioned kind, but similar noise. And looks over her shoulder because she hears something being beamed, and it's the torpedo being beamed out of the room. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um, flip out communicator thing, Majig. This is the Norwest calling away team. In away team. Uh, this is the away team. I think she's the highest ranked person here. Wow. Yes, this is Lieutenant Commander Rad. Yeah, we're gonna need the torpedo uh, back. So, and we're going. Uh, sorry, she would say uh, the torpedo. She would say we we need your scanning equipment uh, back aboard the ship. So just uh, haul it all in. We were gonna leave it there, but we're just gonna need we back need, on the shuttle. Uh, Lieutenant Surya to scan for who just beamed it off the ship. Please and thank you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and we're in combat. <laughs> oh, wait. That seemed like a very bad way of saying it, so... <laughs> All right, so... Uh... You guys are acting first because uh, one of you noticed something that was supposed to be secret happen. Would you like a oh, scan? Trace that, trace that transport. Is it also Ray's shield or are shields already up? Question uh, mark. Shields are currently up on the Norwest. She would have left them up uh, at, because she's worried that the ship would be under attack. She only brought it down briefly to let the shuttle board and uh, leave. Uh, yes, I will scan. Come with them. So Saria is using her action to scan. Yep. Yes. Which little shit's just taken our torpedo? Uh. Actually, I mean, the Klingons had a very obvious beam, so I'm, I'm sure if she looked and saw it, was it green? <laughs> For a momentum, I'll answer. Or red, rather? Yeah, sure. Uh, as a graduate of Starfleet Academy and a Lord Engineer of many years of experience. Uh, she recognizes the beam as a Romulan beaming. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a Romulan! Great! Yeah, she, so she's saying that, which might help Serer... Serer? 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 That's a weird Cation name. <laughs> In terms of, she knows more specifically what she's looking for. They're all weird Cation names. Yeah, we've got They're perfectly stuff. normal Cation names. What are you talking about? Just like yeah. Andorian names are just... Why? Wait, goddammit, uh, I was right the first time. It's fucking Romulan. Reasonable I science... Say, didn't we talk about this? Reason science... Difficulty 5, assisted by sensor science, the Lord Engineer may assist with reason engineering by going, hey, you should look for this or that. <laughs> uh, would you allow the focus of observation? I will take it. Um, give, give the Game Master the needed threat. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll spend a determination either On. to mission directive of 
oh god, oh god, we've just lost a torpedo in a time mission. Hmm. I, I would take that. That's, that. That torpedo is kind of the reason you're here. Like, if that doesn't fall on the mission objective, I don't know what does. And I'll spend four and one. No, son of a bitch. <laughs> no, the, one of the the momentum tokens now just stuck big on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, that happens. <laughs> I'm gonna reload in a second. I'll do the roll first. Oh god, is our are, are our temporal manipulators like Romulans? Are we gonna like have to fight a Dideridex? I'm I'm not telling you. <laughs> You'll figure that out, friend. <laughs> Lord Engineer. Good stuff. I think we made it. No, I'm just gonna eight. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload and I'll I'll take it in a second. Yep. Just typing that out so you don't forget. Yeah, so I think we gain three. Now to reopen all of those sheets. Uh, where's the book I need? I left it closed. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, that's a bit weird. Making a whole bouquet of whoopsie daisies. I literally just reloaded into Roll20 and it took me to the subscribe page. It's like, okay. <laughs> I appreciate the hustle, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I looking at the wrong ship? Okay, so I did. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh, well. But that's the amount of thread I had. Oh well. So yes, uh, you detect uh, that it went both the Tiber and the Norwest. There's a goddamn Romulan over there. Uh, quick glance uh, suggests that it is a Romulan. We're not supposed to see Romulans for quite some time, right? No. No, they're active in this time period. Oh. Yeah, they've, not they've this been far. Encountered. Not this far rimward. They're way out of position. Oh. We're allowed to shoot yeah. them, right? Yeah. I mean... They are in Federation space. At a top-secret military facility. Like, they're not even supposed to know anything's out here. Could uh, assuming... Ceres minor be to re lower the shields, quick to watch and beam that fucker back? Uh, you could minor to uh, drop the shields and uh, attempt a swift task. Uh... Oh no, we've got quick to watch them. Uh, I mean, that would be a different character entirely doing it. It'd be a different character that would do it, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. You could quick to action someone else to try to beam it back, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. I mean. You just shoot the bird of prey, and then when that goes up, the torpedo goes up, and consider that a weapons test. Oh yeah, because the torpedo's not active, active yet, is it? I'm sure, a phaser blast. Well, it's its activation was uh, someone. It's, it's remotely activated. Test. Like the the triggers on the ship. <laughs> so we can just trigger it. it. <laughs> But if you did shoot it and the ship exploded, then the torpedo would explode too. But it would mar if you were hoping for a test. The test is screwed now because it's on the wrong ship. So, I mean, yes, it's on the wrong ship, but it's still on a ship. <laughs> yeah, and it'll. Hey, if you want to argue with the Starfleet Corps engineers about, it, go ahead, or the Andorian I mean, uh, weapons development team, you can. But that's that's a different I conversation. Mean, for I mean, now you have with them about why there's a Romulan bird of prey stealing the weapon. 
Yeah. So what do you want to do? You could quick to action, it just, it, but it would go to somebody. You'd either go to one of the crew members of the Norwest or one of the crew I'm just considering how goofy it would be to just detonate the weapon now that Romulans have it. Do you want to just detonate it? It's kind of war crimey, to be honest. Yeah. Because we know yeah. what it does. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, so as far as funny idea they just beamed an active warhead and we have the trigger on our ship is as funny as that idea is us knowing right. that it will essentially um uh time fuck the crew uh no, no. so but what? they do have yeah. the shield down as a bird of prey so i'm gonna shoot it um actually so here's the question um what's the Rhea's, um engineering It is a... Three? Three, yes. Okay, because what I can do is I can direct her, and we won't have an increase in difficulty. Uh, uh, quick to action to the captain, Cap Commodore directs back. You know. Yeah, could do. Yeah. I mean, yes, you could. Uh, the Romulans probably get away then, or raise shields, and then it's... Well, no. Oh, well, then it's combat, sure, but... Yeah, okay. Then we have, we have the torpedo. Sure. So, bleh. Finger, pull, finger to nose. You can swift task direct again. <laughs> so, the, so Saria is minor action, bringing down the shield, quick to actioning to Blackbird? Yes. yes. And, I'm, and I direct Saria, beam that thing over here, now. Just to say, you have the two directs advisor, correct? Yeah. Then don't, don't swift task. No, 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 don't crit and... the first one. Do not crit the first no, one. Don't. No? Okay. Let's, put, let's see what the difficulty is. Because if you uh, if you order me to do it again, I can beam the crew off the other ship back to this one and raise shields. I don't know if people you beaming would... us necessarily. You can beam some of them, but not all of them. Not easily. But for the first beam, let's get that out of the way. Uh, buying, uh, you're beaming something that's not on a pad. You're not doing it from the engine room, so the diff stays where it is. I imagine you're beaming it to the pad. You're not beaming it, unless yeah. you're beaming it somewhere else on the ship. Oh, that's no. fine. Okay. Um, that sounds okay. I like my threat where it is. Also, we need that shuttle. Um, that that particular shuttle is over there. It's the one we need. Yeah. To get home, <laughs> so uh, abandoning it is perhaps not the best idea. Control plus engineering, difficulty three, assisted by sensors plus engineering. Okay. Well, this is not her best role, but well, well we've got re momentum. Team dynamics as a focus. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of her focus. Team Dynamics could assist, yes. I can't type. Uh, I would like to activate Walking Encyclopedia. I'm going to spend two momentum to gain the focus of transporters, but my comp range goes up by one. Hey, so I'm actually using that. And it remains for the entire... Duh, 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 once per session. Scene, I believe. Oh, it all lasts for the whole session. Well, that's what it says on the sheet. Any task oh, cool. using that focus increases in complication, yeah. Cool. And spend a momentum. Better die. Yeah. So one power being used, no matter what. Plus she gets a re-roll because it's a sensors roll. So I'll do the ship first. That's a sensors. Oh, that would have been a complication. Yep. Oh, I've got so, a re-roll for that anyway. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I forgot to bucket up one. Hey. So we gain three from that. So you beam the torpedo over to you. You have the target device. 
then uh, what do you think, guys? Blackford spend a minor to raise the shield again? Probably. And shields back up. You One. thought you were clever. Turn goes to them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ramen bird of prey. He cloaks. And brings up its shields. Hmm. Buying some dice for for something it's doing. I can't type. <laughs> Way to be good at your jobs, guys. You're making it hard on. <laughs> Darn you! Darn you, clever buggers! Um, yes, forgive us for being competent. This is just the damn you, Starfleet engineers. That worked. I'll take my two threat. Uh, and ah, oh, shoot. Uh, gonna keep the initiative. One of the Klingon vessels decloaks. Oh, yay. I should note that these guys are so cloaked because you would know that they're there. This guy decloaks, brings up shields. Oh, shoot, actually. D cloaks, but I don't have enough to buy. Well, we're just gonna have to hope this works. Cool. So, crap. They will fire their weapons at you. Uh, please no. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, firing their uh, phaser brain set. Because you're at medium range to them. Have you ever considered not? They have considered it, but they're being paid too well for this. Ha 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 ha. Uh. They fire oh. their they fire wide, but they in their haste they over their uh uh weapons and they basically burn one of their turns because they're gonna have to at least one turn's gonna have to be spent fixing what they just burned or resetting the the phaser banks as it seems that the field that they're in the the, the debris field that they're in kind of reacted badly to them firing their phasers through it and it kind of hit like a cloud, a dust cloud of metal and it scattered. So it kind of pinged all over the place and struck the, sh the ship a little bit. Whoops. Turn goes back to you guys because that was a masterful bit of uh, play. Although you notice that um, during all that, this ship sent out a coded communication to these three ships. Oh, no, they scanned for weakness. No? You don't know what they did. But maybe they did that. You're right. Uh, turn goes to the Norwest and its allies. You have at least two player actions left, plus the actions of the Norwest itself. Uh, we need to get the Tiber back. 
Well, we need to get yeah. shuttle back. Uh, not the Tiger. The, the, the shuttle. Sorry, nameplates are confusing. Yep, so what you gonna do? You, If you wanted someone to grab the shuttle, you need someone to uh, grab it. I could play somebody. I just don't know who's there. Uh, it'd be these three folk. Uh, quote, unquote, Theroni and Rad are there with a security detail. That's Sister Shreer and uh, the Lord Engineer. Where's Weyer? Good question. Uh... I don't think I know those NPCs. No, it's Vada? it's a uh, Isala and Vada. Well, I know Vada, but but and... Vada's already gone. No, and she hasn't. Theroni, Th Theroni is um, uh, Penn's sister. Vada has not uh, actually already gone. No. Oh, that's Sarira... Rad. No, no. Sarira is the one who did the beam because Rad's over on the uh, t Tiber uh, where the torpedo was beamed off. Got it. Because but because Blackford. As it were, the captain of uh, the Commodore was like, Sir's like, give action. You do something. Beaming. These three haven't done anything. Well, sorry. These two haven't done anything yet. Nor has. I'm just kind of here. Yep. Well, I'm not going to play your character. <laughs> to be fair, uh, he's been rolling. Grab either. You could grab either yeah. Vada or uh, the pilot, as you as you guys all wish. Uh, what are we wanting? You're running somebody to go get the ship. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So what's happened is that the these th uh, these two are on the Tiber. Mm -hmm. The thing is, they need the shuttle to get back home because that's that was how they time traveled here in the first place. Mm -hmm. So. But when these two get back to the shuttle, they notice that the temporal agent that went with them, uh, Agent Weir, isn't on board the shuttle. Got it. Because right now they're sitting on in the shuttle bay of an unshielded, unpowered freighter, while there's a bunch of ships turning on their weapons and shields and stuff. All right, not a fan of that. Uh... Also, fun fact: uh, these shuttles uh, back then don't have warp, so can't mm -hmm. exactly warp away. Uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> this one does because we janked one in there, I think. Yeah, it, it's a sort of modified drive specifically for time jumping. It's kind of a thing. Uh, yeah. Um. God, I don't know what I'd do if I was a science officer. Uh, okay. <laughs> um. Confirming that I'm good at medicine. Okay. Uh, Where the fuck did she go? More important to get on the ship and fly. More important to find person. Uh, probably She's fly. Home? But okay. yeah, yeah, we can find her later, maybe possibly. Uh. Okay, so that's Sharir. Okay. We'll find out eventually what happened. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so what... I've never played a con officer. Can you tell? Uh, what do I need <laughs> to do? <laughs> uh, what, do you, what are you trying to do is my question. I guess get it... Is, is it, like, flight checks and stuff done so that it can just go? Or does, do we need to start it up? Like, what's the... Uh, so, uh, well, the protocol would be that right now, uh, if you want to maneuver, it'd be a diff zero task. Like most movement okay. tasks for a pilot are diff zero because it, as long as there's no nothing in the way and uh, there's no phenomenon interfering. Uh, right now, the big problem that they have is that the friendly ship they would fly to, the Norwest, has its shields mm -hmm. up right now. Yeah. Uh, but the it's shuttle still could probably put... better to be in the shuttle than not. Right? Yeah, because yeah, you would. If nothing else, you'd want the shuttle off the freighter because the freighter has no shields. 
resistance. Mm -hmm. Like if it takes any damage, it's going to be breaches. So you could, yeah. in theory, get on the shuttle and get some distance from the hostels, maybe, and hope the Norwest rescues you. I mean, there's yeah, a station up here somewhere. Yeah, in the right. orbit of uh, in this uh, whole zone. So maybe yeah, we could like loop or like start looping around and go the other direction. Yeah. Uh, actually, I know what to do. Uh, this won't cost you a turn, but this will reflect controlling a pilot. Giving... I, I typed in Insight plus Rota. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> insight plus what? Insight Rota. plus her name. I was like, wait. Uh, insight plus con <laughs> difficulty one to see if they're... to. Because I can't give the information for free, but I can Got it. tell you what I, she knows. I am the con. <laughs> Yeah, don't you know? It was named after Schroda, the uh, pilot. That's what Khan is, uh, Dorian. Oh, she has anatomy. Maybe I could have scanned for it. Oh, no, she has a crap science. Jeez. Um, so that's helm control, probably, right? Uh, just let me look at her sheet. See what applies here. Uh, protocols. I would take protocols, yep. Okay. Cassius Con. Yeah, Cassius. Scr screw off. I can't spell sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Quashus. I like it. It's an accent thing. It's in Dorian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that they had Italian accents, but they do. <laughs> yeah, just like Cations are all Russian. Specifically, Italian American accents. Cautious. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> and Dorian's the Jerseyites of space. <laughs> Sorry, New Jersey. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll the take Andor one. The Andor Shore. I'll take one for cautious. Yeah, un cautious. Yeah. unfortunately, when it gets like three o'clock in the or like five o'clock in the morning, it's like spelling's not my priority. I mean, that's fair. I tried to write community today and. Every letter that was in there was technically correct in that it was in the word, but it was not where it was supposed to be. Um, so <laughs> I cannot throw stones. Hey, get two momentum. So yeah. there are three possible safe places for her to go if she can't, since she can't go in this turn. In theory, she could, she, could, she could try to get to one of these uh, planetary bodies and, like, use it as cover, like, go into Atmo and kind of fly that way. Another one is try to fly into this debris field and then just make yourself duck and weave through the huge chunks of metal and uh, have ex and exploded uh, starships. The hardest one is getting all the way to Iplip 4. If you, if you can get to Iplip 4, you're safe because then you're within the defensive mm -hmm. ring of the, of the battle, of the, not the battle station, but of the starport. Um, because right now, because you don't want to hang around here into the sector, you're probably going to get shot at either by one of the Klingon ships, one of the D7s, or the Bird of Prey. And you're a scale one itty-bitty Galileo. Mm -hmm. You are squishy, so you don't want to be anywhere near where the shooting is. Um, do I have an idea of, like, what's going to offer the best, like, communications for Vada? I imagine we're going to want to be talking to people and let people know things. Communication-wise, uh, as long as the debris field, communication rolls are going to get way harder because you're, okay. you're going to run into like half-exploded batteries and stuff. But if you're out in yeah. open space, even if you're hiding behind a planet, they can hear you. You're in the same star system. so. Okay. Um, I mean, I know what Pend would do, but she has cautious. So I'm thinking, yeah, hiding behind a planet might be, might be the way to go. And everyone's taking shots tonight, aren't they? Well, no, I'm like thinking. Now you know how I know, it feels, Pend. I know what Pend uh, the pilot uh, would do. Pend the pilot would like go into battle, <laughs> or I will go point into out the, this... debris, the extremely dangerous debris field because he could. Um, and it would be awesome, but I, I don't think that's this character. I could be wrong. No, you're right. So you want, so where do you want to go with the shuttle? Um, try to take it into, uh, at, 
Atmo of one of these planetary bodies. Okay, just so, so we can we can hide. Okay, so that would be daring plus con difficulty of two, assisted by not that you're going to be, but uh, technically speaking, assisted by engines con of the shuttle. Okay. I would don't depend on the shuttle. It has like seven plus two, so like nine total. Okay. It um, is garbage. So daring con, um, helm control. Yes. I'll take one for Cassius. She have anything else? Advisor. Here's the sheet for those of you. Yeah, the Galileo. Yeah. Wasn't sure if I already shown it or not. Hey! All right. Good job, little show. The ship assist. What? The little Type 7 shuttle comes roaring out of the Tiber, zoom, and just impulses as fast as the little engines can. And, I, think and I, can. Just, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And it starts skimming the Aww. minimal Class D surface of the planet, basically creating cover for itself. Don't shoot me! I assume you bring up the shields as well? Or do you leave them down? Uh, yes, please. I wasn't sure if it had shields. I'm going to be completely honest. It has shields. It doesn't have weapons. Well, I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> hey, hey, we've seen sometimes than... a shield can be a weapon. One second, I'll be right back. I've watched so, Captain uh, America. <laughs> so, Everix, to give you an idea of what is happening here, oh boy. So it turns out that whoever these uh, temporal investigations people are that have sent Grennan back are doing so as a trap to get rid of Grennan. Makes sense. And Pend is now also hopefully coming back to save us. Sometime soon. Good. So, the, so we we don't want to find the temporal agent. Not full that bitch. She, she she's basically just stranded you all there. And I guarantee the the equipment she was using to get you there is no longer on the goddamn shuttle. I am back. All right, so uh, one of you took an action. Um, you are looking at a... Do you wish to keep, or will you let it go to the other side? <clears throat> uh, that's the question. Do we want to uh, quick to action and have uh, did it, Rad to see if the equipment that was used to get us here is actually still aboard the shuttle? Because I have my doubts on that. Just keep in mind that would be the last player turn. The rest would be the Norvest. Mm -hmm. Well, no, wait. What about um, what about our security officer? Or, uh... No, but I'll be full. Remember, my rule turns. is I only give one one player turn wait. support or main per person at the table, and then the NPC ship gets its turns. I haven't done a support character either. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, because Samira was done, Blackford was done, Theroni's done, so there's one more action left on the player side. So it's either Slayton or Rad. Yeah. I think it's important to see if that black box is still there. <laughs> the... Yeah, on the shuttle. What? I the doubt that's box. still. No, the temporal device. I'm pretty sure that temporal device is no longer on that shuttle. I mean, you can find out and then can't communicate to the Norwest anyway unless you want to just publicly broadcast that we're time travelers. No, but it's good to find out. The shuttle's not going anywhere, so you can find out later as well. Yeah, what action would you like to when do? When you find out is... Because <laughs> uh, hmm. we're talking about I'd your like turn to keep here. keep us alive. 
and there happens to be three angry Klingon Klingons. Yes, Klingons. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> two of them are still cloaked and haven't actually acted yet. Yep. Right. And one is uncloaked, but its shields aren't up. So they're all easy to hit comparatively. They have minimal cover because of the debris, but they're hittable. Yeah, let's see if we can't nail him. Like, they've not shot yet. We might be able to chase them off before they act. So what? You're gonna you're gonna... Sorry, go ahead. They're what, like, targeting the weapon system or some shit? Yeah. Yep. Starship Marksman, let's go. I need to open the Norwest chute because this shot's actually going to be harder because of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the Norway here. Yeah. Oh, no West. I need to look at it though. I need to. Uh, where is it? Where does the independent phases apply? Oh, Gaka. Important to note. Okay, so what would yeah. that difficulty be to hit that ship? Uh, hit nor ship. by Norwest. Medium to long, so it is a diff uh, three shot. Diff three base, diff four if I target. It's an right. NPC ship, so targeting doesn't really matter anyway. Not but in it particular. Does me, it does give yeah. me a resistance beating because of my talent. So yeah. it comes into that. Yeah. Okay, and so narratively, I will take into account, but it won't be... You yeah. have to worry about that. And yet. then Starship Marksman to lower the difficulty? Okay. Because <clears throat> that, that's kind of exactly what it's for. Yep. Um, you know, I can do a diff three. We've got, oh my god, we've got a lot of momentum for once, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Give you a threat to momentum. Control yeah, because I can't threat not threat this one, can I? No. Can't put bone juice into bones that are pressing buttons. Oh my god, that is tragically low. Hmm. And weapon security. Okay, fine. 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 Um <laughs> I mean you have a reroll. I know. I'm also sitting here looking at my values that I still got because I've already re-rolled three times to get my determination. Let's go again. Um, the odds will not beat me. I'll beat them. This is hitting a ship in a debris field at a distance while it's cloaked. Yeah, with a Hermes, no less. These are <laughs> meant to get in shootouts. With a precision shot as well. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Okay. <laughs> So that is five successes. That was not what I meant to click. Oh, I kept it. Yay! Uh, do to roll the phaser banks? <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, that's one to re-roll. Okay, hmm. one, two, let me double check this ability too. Um... Oh, I already had another re-roll in the deep dice pool anyway. Me. Um, piercing one damage effect. Yeah, one to reroll. So rerolling four. four. Okay, and that's three piercing. One um, cover. We've also one got extra resistance. Uh, versatile two. And we do have versatile two. But yeah, we've currently got three piercing as a scale. Four, so it's got two resistance. Got two devastating. Seems excessive. It'll get it out the fight. You're right. Yeah, sure. Devastate it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight minus two. Uh, uh, well, eight raw. Let's get that right. And then its total would have been four plus one because of cover, so five. But you peeled away some of it. Three. So there's two left. Eight minus two is six damage after the fact. They have no shields. It's one breach. Uh, two they, breach. Uh, hmm? Two breach yeah, from... I'm five, counting them up one by one so I don't lose oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So one for not having shields. One because they took at least five. So it's two breaches so far. Two versatile. One to breach. Uh, two uh, devastating. devastating. And... Brain. Imagine okay. getting one shot by a Hermes. Ugh. 
devastating attack. Reroll an additional system that suffers an additional hit, dealing half the attack's damage, rounding up. Yeah, the problem is they don't have any shields. So it's like a, it's all a touch not enough to breach. So it's it's an additional breach. So they have three breaches right now. Then we can put one into piercing on the devastating, and that should be enough to breach it again? Question mark. Uh, no, not quite. Not quite. But no, they if, might if, just you had to, if, if if you added two more, you'd have an additional breach. Say so that's worth it. Yeah. To just that's a D seven that's out of the fight. Yep. So wham. You do just pinpoint hits. shot. It zips yep. through and hits some of the reflective metals in there and burns them away, almost like very cheap a blade of armor. Uh, but it still hits an uh, a cloaked vessel straight in the uh, main core. The whole thing just kind of drifts derelict in space. Mm -hmm. It's cloaked deactivates because it's disabled, so that also means it's cloaked disabled. Um, I could swift toss and do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, we'll spend two for swift task. Okay. And this is a diff... Oh, oh, well, computer. Yeah, Thank you. Diff Everything four froze now? for a second. That'd be a diff three base, right? Two to three. Yep, it'd be diff three base. Yep. Four because swift task. Five wait. if I sub target. Wait, you could um. Uh, uh, does this target. thing? Does, wait, does this thing have uh torps? No. We have phaser banks. Uh, this thing okay. does not have torpedoes. It's a Hermes. These things are scout ships. They're not supposed to get in. Um. Hmm. Do I want to take a diff four shot or a diff three shot? <laughs> Ah, uh, be brave. Be bold. Do four shot and see if I can get the other one? Okay. Yeah, you still have your determination. <laughs> You're right. And my computer... Please. Maybe You're running you a browser. Your... Stop lagging. <laughs> you, could okay. do your, uh, you could do your threat dump metal. Oh, you're right. Watch this fail me horribly, and when it does, I blame you fully. <laughs> Rolls Why is all my symbols. computer freezing running the browser? Go away. <laughs> oh, okay. it's four. That's the worst. Four, yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so that. Control, security, yes, yes, yes. I can't put more power into it, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeet. I've got two rerolls. I need to remember that, because precision targeting gives me one, determination gives... Uh, not determination, bold gives me another, so... First re-roll, second re-roll. Nice. Uh, so that's the four. Oh. We gain two. We gain four. Four momentum. Okay, I'll okay. roll the shot. Hmm. That looks like it's painful. Crispy. <laughs> We're doing the, the same again. <laughs> The Klingons sitting there going, this is a Hermes, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's half its resistance. Three, four, nice. Five, six, eight. It's the exact um, same again. <laughs> yep, so it's the same expenditure if you want to knock it out outright. Yeah, yeah spend the number two. two. <laughs> and we're not spending power to take those shots. Oh, you're right, that's the thing. That's the, that's the advantage of this. Yep. You just can't you can't dump more power. Can't thing, dump yeah. more power into them, but uh, you know Go that that's a display of marksmanship right there that I'm pretty sure will upset the Klingons. I mean, to be fair, you've just halved the encounter. Yeah. Wow. I think we're about to be halved, though. To be honest. Um, <laughs> we'll find out how this goes. All right. Uh, so the Klingon ship here uh, brings its shields up. <laughs> it's like, ah, mm, I see. <laughs> You're lucky I couldn't do that a third time. I couldn't, right? I couldn't just like... You actually could have. Action. You, you can spend determination to for an extra action. I can? can yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. can I? 
<laughs> I've got my. I didn't realize that. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this okay. is before they even raise their shields now. Oh my god. Um, what's that difficulty, or is that still. Is that still uh, a task? I think it's just original task difficulty. Or is it just giving me a second action on the same task? Uh, hold on. I don't know how this works. Let me check. Are you sure uh, this... No, the increase in difficulty is a function of the swift task momentum spend. Oh. If you do. I want to commit an additional action. That additional action is to fire the phasers. Okay. So that would be base, uh, as if you were doing it normally. Mm. Okay. Huh. Sorry, well, I, had to, I had to... Oh, no. Uh... It does actually, no, it increase it to attempt a second task, increasing the difficulty. So yeah, no, it's, it's, it's increased by one as if you were... Okay. Okay, but not on top of a regular swift task. It's not like no, no, swift no. task times two. No, no. no. Okay. Because I'd I'd still take it at swift task times two. <laughs> and don't forget to roll your veteran. I I yes. think do I still need to choose Base a two to... shot? If you aim, it goes up to three. Okay. Do I still need to choose a value to spend for the extra action? Say again, you broke up. Do I still need to choose a value to spend for the extra action? You know how determination uh, spends have that. Mic check. Can people hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You. Lost yeah. you there. Am I breaking up for everyone else or no? Nope. You, you broke up for me. me. No, I thought okay. I might have just dropped out. Everybody somewhere. turned into a robot. Ah, it might just be Discord then. Anyway, do I need to use a value for this? Because I mean, the odds will not beat me seems applicable. Of oh, that's three d sevens, and I'm in a Hermes. Is it still breaking up? No, you're fine for me. Is it just Corbinian? Why are the English Maybe. fine? I don't know. Diff? Oh, wow. Well. You okay, you good? And back. Okay, okay. We Here we go. That's back. Um. It it's was called it's Binion's fault. Spend, so basically, do I need to use a value for it? Yes. Okay, I do need to. The, the odds will not beat me. I will beat them. This is. Uh, yeah, this is a continuation of that. I'll take yeah, it. You are like, two it, to one. It's three d sevens that came out, but there's now one of them left. But it's still a bird of prey and a d seven. Yeah. We're scale outclassed. wise, you're still in. You're, in scale wise, you're in trouble. Yep. Um, and you said so. Diff two base. Diff three base because Swift. Diff four. Yeah. Goes to the three big starship marksman. Got it. Um, you get to roll your veteran. I, I keep it. Yeah. <laughs> what the shit? Now I will point out. Someone you, wants to run the odds on this. You, you can only spend for the extra action once. Yeah, I can't just indefinitely extra action because that'd be stupid. Yeah. Oh wait, um, sorry. Uh, we ha we have to walk this all back anyway. Oh. Uh, checking combat action some more. Each minor action can only be attempted once per turn. Only a maximum of two action tasks may be attempted per turn. Yes, the, I okay, remember that. So now. I can't take a sec. I can't take a third action anyway. Yeah, no. Yeah. Ah, damn. I remember. I remember that now. Damn it. And okay. you, you can. And when it comes to raising and lowering shields, as, as written anyway, it sounds like the person who dropped the shields can't raise them, but somebody else could do it. Yeah, which is we've what been we around did. that earlier. We had yeah. someone drop them, then swift uh, oh, no, so okay. quick to action. Someone else raised them. That right. Yeah. Happen. Okay, so we're good so far. All right, okay. so back to our regular scheduled program. Okay, the Klingons <laughs> raise their shields. Damn, they get away. Uh, they raise their shields and they shoot I at you. Wasted my keep my veteran roll too. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Damn. <all right. laughs> oh, okay. I blame the roboticness of uh, Discord for giving me time to read. Yeah. <laughs> Cur curse you, Skynet. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. where? Okay. I was starting going, I can? Third action? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, it's a legitimate <laughs> thing. It just. Would have been, that would have been so busted. I think the difference is, like, do you want to spend momentum or determination? Yeah, if, if want you want it. to. It's the intended yeah. Yeah. action. Uh, they are going to move out of the field, close to close range. Oh. Uh, they're going to keep. How about you don't? 
And they're going to fire their disruptor cannons at you. Gross. Bye, die, just to be safe, because hell yeah. You blew up my friends. Actually, you know what? You blew up my friends. I'm buying all the toys. We didn't blow them you. up. <laughs> they're disabled. You may, you're going to capture them in dishonorable disgrace. How dare you? Sure. Even though they're being thieves and brigands, but whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, bu 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 uh, that is a hit. With a complication Only. on the board. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Less damage. Uh, they do not get their vicious quality as they did not uh, attune the shot well. So they do three. Uh, the Norwest's resistance soaks it, I think. Yep. Oh, wow. Oof. No, that, that's nothing to our shields then. If Does the nothing. resistance just. Yeah, if the resistance just completely soaks it. Uh, turn goes to the wrong prey. Uh, oh, did you spend a keep? Oh, the Norwest gets to go. Sorry, yeah, the Norwest gets its turns. What do you? What does the Norwest crew do? <laughs> so, would it be viable to uh, move here, pick up, lower raise shields, move? I mean, we only have. Four. One action at a time. No, I, yeah, I understand that. I'm just thinking like plan of action. I mean, we could also move out of close range with the Tiber, shoot it, have it blow up on top of the. They've got their shields up. It wouldn't do much, but that'd be a meme. Um, Charlie, pick up the shuttle. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, so like move lower, pick up, raise. Yeah, then then we can spend two to keep for the raise. And moving further away, yeah, yeah, that works. I think. Okay. So the first action of the Norwest is what? Move the shuttle. And minor lower shields. Shields gone. Uh, quick turn. Go back to the bird of prey. Or are you keeping? Uh, keep. Spend two. Uh, can we quit to action? No, we're not in the first round anymore. No, oh, we're still technically in the first round. Well, it's two no, either it's way. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. It's quick to action. You can right. quick to action. Uh, the same spe uh, You can quick to action because it's a different part of the crew in an NPC crew. Yeah, yeah so it's still the same round. Uh, quick to action. Yeah, okay. Pick up the shuttle and minor raise shields. To pick up the shuttle requires a tractor beam. One moment, please. We have a tractor beam. Yep. Thankfully, Norway still has those. Yeah. Yeah, we have to go all the way to the NX era about needing grappler cables. Yes, we'll grapple cable and just lasso yeet the shuttle back into our shuttle bay. Um, that's how they did it in the old days, right? Uh, essentially. It was super <laughs> not safe. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, let's make a joke at the GM. No, yeah, that's how it was. Just yoink. Oh. It's, it's like, wait, it's like we, we, it's like we grapple it toward. How do we get it to uh, brace for impact? <laughs> it's a cable. What do you want us to do? Uh, you are looking at a, well, for record's sake, but it's the NPC crew doing. Security task diff two, assisted by structure plus security. To to grapple uh, to grapple to bloody hell to tractor the uh... the shot yeah um, what spend two momentum and a threat or just get one extra die because this is a crew roll. It's up to you by the sound of it. Go for ah, it. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Uh, one threat, two momentum. I'm going to roll four. Yeah, 
sat here waiting for an extra opinion, just silence. <laughs> so, well, pick you then. <laughs> and the starship roll. And minor action, Rich Shields. Because yeah, it's a different crew member who did it. Turn goes over to them. Yeah. Oh no, we already quit to action, so yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, you'd have to swift, but. Uh, the bird of prey sends a subspace signal to a device aboard the Norwest. Sorry. And the torpedo detonates. Spending to reroll damage. Is there any difficulty on the fact that they've just activated a torpedo at distance remotely? I uh, know they had the frequency and they uh, it's not encrypted or anything. They the uh, the bird of prey sends the uh, activation. It was intended for someone to de to to, uh, to click it on when they move away. So mm -hmm. the person just presses, put, puts in the right commands. Uh, the Norwest shields do not come into effect because it's on your ship. So on the plus side, your shields aren't affected, but you take damage oh, as if you were hit with no shields. So this is bad. Uh, yeah, this is a quantum torpedo inside the ship with a bit of extra sauce. Yeah. Oh, yup. Oh. Ow. I mean, just ow. Yeah, look what we can do with a quantum torpedo when it hits on the outside of the ship. What is the Norwest scale? Four. And uh, yeah, uh, the Norwest takes two breaches to its uh, sensors. It... I can eat one of those. Yeah, because that taught quantum. I can actually least... eat one of those for two momentum instead of suffering a complication. Oh, Carry good order of heroism. Very good. Yeah, I just... spend two momentum immediate or suffer a complication, and for once I'm not suffering a complication. <laughs> <laughs> that is one breach that we're taking. And a this has high yield because it did a breach at all. It does one addition, I believe. It's also I think it's vicious. Just one. Yeah, well, it's doing it. Yeah, it just has to. It's bypassing the shields. It can't do. It doesn't hurt the shields, thankfully. High yield would double any breach that it does, right? Yeah. Uh, so double check. High yield is two per breach. Weapon inflicts massive damage to If an attack inflicts one or breaches, it inflicts one additional. So just one. So it takes yeah. One. So I would need to use that metal immediately to squash one of the first breaches to not have another two breaches. Essentially. Yeah. So, yay! We... I... The ship is not dead. <laughs> so, are we at what? Oh, you have two uh, Order of Karagats, or No. Oh. But we suffer two breaches. One of them doesn't happen. One of those breaches doesn't happen because I squashed it. So, so does that one mean... One to sense... Go ahead, sorry. So, if I quashed it... it, can, it that's a question, I suppose. Does it get quashed before the devastating takes effect? Or not? Well, you're taking two breaches out of the gate. Yes. One for being hit for no da for having no shields on effectively, and then oh, another because right. of yep. uh, doing at least five. High yield. And then I'm high yield, that third yeah. one. You think if I quash one of the initial breaches, would it mean the high yield thing doesn't come into effect from that or not? It still would, because you're taking at least okay. one breach. Well, we're still only at three breaches instead of four, so haha. <laughs> <laughs> A four? Well, uh, there's no devastating attack on this. It's just 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's high yield on the inside. Okay, that's me misunderstanding. Yeah, it's high yield and vicious. It's a normal torpedo. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so actually, so that means that last weapons roll would not happen because I didn't get three breaches. I only got two, so two breaches the sensors. Oh, well, that sucked. Um, I don't think we need the sensors really to record the data from this explosion. It's on our ship. <laughs> yeah, there are certain tapes that will record the explosion. Um. Turn goes to the Norwest. That was the praise action. Okay. Can we continue fucking off? <laughs> yeah, can we just go up to the, uh, the, I the station? I was like, nah, this seems good. So, so you're gonna impulse into the Ippolip, uh 4 orbit? Yeah. Okay. This is a... Hmm, well, I guess the torpedo's detonated. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, turn goes to the Bird of Prey. We should probably sit there like, why is the ship still moving? And the Bird of Prey warps away. Yeah, I bet you do. And... Uh... Uh, what is the Norwest? Final action? Yep. Should we try and run containment on that explosion? Uh, probably. Because yeah. you're getting reports that there's a persistent radiation... The burn uh, effect. Uh, effect in the, uh, cargo, in the transporter room. The entire yeah. deck's getting flooded with radiation. We'll have to yeah. run containment on that. Surya, run... Uh, run radiation containment procedures. Surya cannot, cannot, cannot has to be the crew. Hmm? It has it's to be the, the crew. Oh. Because we're still in that. Which oh, right, okay. The captain. I mean, yeah, the captain probably just gives an order for that, but yeah. Okay, so... Captain tells people, hey, we need to get damage control teams, seal off, try to seal down the fire. Um... Yeah. What I'll do... To reflect that, lost somebody. I lost the captain. That's yeah, it. it's just Grinner. Uh, reason. Plus engineering. Uh, difficulty. This is gonna blow up on the ship, but this person got desperate because you grabbed the darn thing. And like, you know what? I'm just gonna detonate it. Forget it. <laughs> Which good for them, <laughs> annoying for me. So they did that just out of sheer spite. Yeah, well, there, there is a reason they did it, but it's like, that wasn't the way they wanted to detonate it <laughs> at all. But it's like, well, I mean, I could just detonate the damn thing. <laughs> like, you, in my head, like, you can. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> but it makes sense, so go ahead. Stupid bad guy. Uh Oh, fudge muffins in a house. Okay, cool. This plus this plus this plus this means reason plus engineering difficulty eight assisted by structure plus engineering. Holy shit! I don't think the crew can pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, spending two and four. They can certainly fucking try. <laughs> That's basically wow. what the role is. Uh, Wakeman will direct them to assist. Yep, spending two and four, so you get four threat, and four, let's see how well this goes. Oh, here's one for you, GM. Yeah. The Norwest has rugged design. Oh, 
Uh, that would bring the dip down by one because it makes any repair easier. Ah! Hey, <laughs> okay. Uh, here's Four. the ship. No. Five. I mean, that's a good attempt. That's not bad. That's pretty good for a cruise ship, but... Oof. You know, the Norwest had the sharpshooter variant. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. Oh, I thought you took that into account. Shoot, yeah. No. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's a trait. It it it, it has. Uh, it's easier for it to pin to pinpoint shoot. So all those rolls. Are <laughs> I was not taking that into account at all. <laughs> Amazing. You give us too much credit. Yeah. All right. So they try to contain it, but the radiation is just flooding the deck super fast. Wakeman's doing what she can, but there's a limit on her and her cruise abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom of the round, the vessel takes eight damage. Four of it's taken away, so the shields, uh, internal containment shields are able to mitigate the damage some degree and are able to prevent a breach, but this will not uh, stand forever. Okay. Uh, new round. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, at the start of the new round, I will let you know the uh, fire is still on. Or not fire, sorry. Uh, the radiation is still persisting. Uh, uh, the Klingon ship is also uh, getting all. And it was a friendly that acted. The bad guys get to act first. Awesome. Uh, this ship will then. Is going to warp away. Oh, great. Hey, hey uh, Commodore, would you like to direct your engineer? Um, would you like them to do something rad? <laughs> uh, uh, would you like Rad to get rid of the Rad? <laughs> yeah, you mean we need ratting. <laughs> rat, too many Rads is the problem. Eradicate the Rads. <laughs> Okay, we're all dying. The GM's killing us with these puns. Oof, that was rough. Um, Ooh, that's rough, Cotton. Or he could give seven. us inspiration, except that doesn't exist in this game, so... <laughs> Didn't I lose inspiration every time I made a pun in a different game we were in? Then I started losing hit points because so, I had so no inspiration. Is, so yes. Is it, is, is it still diff 7? Okay, here's my play. Um, Commodore Blackford <laughs> for days. Um, uh, Blackford is going to direct Rad to do what she can to keep the radiation under control. I'm gonna burn my uh, I'm gonna burn my metal that makes my directed auto crit, so that's um, an automatic two hits. The Medal of Honor, I believe? I think that's the one. Or the Pike Medal. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's the Pike. Is a Pike Medal. The Medal of Honor it's is not just two hits, yeah. Yeah, it's the Pike Medal. Um, okay. uh, I am going to bend my determination on the value to uh, trust in my crew to activate my Spirit of Discovery. Three momentum on the table. Yep. Three momentum is generated. Red, you're looking at a dip seven task. You have at least two hits, Captain, uh, the Commodore. Um, you're looking at reason engineering assisted by the Norwest structure plus engineering. So the question is, Vada, do you want to roll this for her or do you want me to roll it for her? Uh, you can. Okay, let's see what we can throw at this. Uh, is it already spent determination or no? Oh no, she's already good. I'm just I'm just going over everything first. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so structural integrity for a focus. Yes. I'm gonna spend the three momentum.
here's a question. Does I know my ship come into... Oh, but it's not her ship. No. Okay, I'm going to roll four dice, and I'll, we'll get this assist from the ship, and two from Grinnan. So I'm going to do the ship first. That puts us up to five. I'm going to spend the determination. I am the Lord Engineer. Yep, I'll take that. So I'm going to reroll two first. Yeah, leave it. Yeah, that is seven, so I was, I was going to leave it. Six, seven on the dot. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird that we've only just got into the habit of doing determination spends before the reroll spends. We have finally reached this level of experience, so we start doing things competently. Yeah, after three years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, like when we start the new camp, like we're gonna start the new campaign, and even though our characters are gonna be like absolute low level, we're just gonna we're still gonna just be like. Uber gaming. Competent. Just by the sheer level of like. <clears throat> I mean, technically, that's the captain's orders, not even the commodore's. Yeah. I was gonna say. Captain, she's your ship, your crew. What ha What assistance do you need? We're heading to Earth, and we're explaining all of this. Much as I would love to hunt down the whoever was on that uh, bird of prey, I'm going to relay that to the other ships in the area. I'm not letting the council... I'm not letting the ship be killed with all, this, uh, with all the evidence we have on board. I want everything cataloged. Uh, Mr. Slayton, I want you... All uh, data gathering efforts. Uh, Surya, make sure that's checked. Theroni, I want you to uh, take a look at that shuttle and uh, make sure that it wasn't sabotaged any further. Um, I would suggest we do a quick sweep of either the Tiber, although I find it unlikely we'll find our individual, or the missing person. You have a missing person? Who? One of our shuttle crew. She grabs a pat. She grabs a pat off her, off the side of her chair, and starts scribbling at it, tapping at it a few times. Consultant, where? Mm -hmm. Saria, if you would, actually, uh, be internal security. Uh, Slayton, she points at the tactical station. Uh, sorry, at the internal security station. My bad. Because it's a reason security role to scan inside. Unless you're scanning outside. What are you suggesting she do? Um, well, we should probably She's check assuming the this person's on the Norwest somewhere. <laughs> yeah, probably, we should probably check the nor internals of the Norwest if they've somehow found their way back aboard. But the last place they were would have been the shuttle on the Tiber. So either the Romulans beamed them out or they're still on the Tiber for some reason. So we've got two options, and that's two separate scans. Surya, check over our sensor locks. We probably passively notice them doing the transport as part of the beam out. Right. You caught the beam out on sensors. Or, no, it would be uh, reason engineering, so sorry. Reason engineering difficulty two assisted by computers. So it'd be a rat. Uh, new scene, so the shield reset. <laughs> and power. Which, yeah, she's keeping the shields up because holy crap. <laughs> uh, it's only a diff two. Uh, I'll give you a threat. Oh, uh, you can ignore that comp. Hmm, why? Uh, 
Four near a warp core. Uh, there is a challenge die roll for that. Okay. I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It it's just says born near a warp core on a sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you need an effect for it to actually cancel out. And it's once per session, I believe. I'm going to check again, though. I had it for a. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Here it is. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we gained one, so. She so doesn't have any way of squashing it. Oh, it's per scene. Okay. So you're squashing it? No, I don't have well, to. I mean, I'll... Didn't, didn't roll it. So. Alright, uh, yep, yeah, you have a... You did hit the diff, you gained one momentum. But you did succeed, I'll take my two threat. Um... Gross. Uh, Commodore, Captain, it appears the way was being at the same time as the torpedo about the bird of prey. So you... They kidnapped her? Wait a minute. Unknown. No. No. Uh, it. Who the hell is that? The Andorians. We're being hailed, Captain. Ah, hell. They are going to be very angry that we just let one of their, their second torpedo blow up. And the bad guys escape. I mean, the bad guys escape. There's two of them disabled. I don't know what else they want from a, uh, no offense. I, uh, she shrugs. <laughs> they were not amused the first time around. And we also haven't told the arrest prominent scientists from their world under charges of treason. So, because I figured we'd get around to that after the test was done. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll find out. What Commodore. I would recommend one of two options. Either we simply chase after this agent of yours secreted themselves onto a bird of prey somehow and secure them for arrest and interrogation or we flee now back to Earth and door to the nearest council member and report in. Because at this point... I don't know how much the local population's on our side. We could try to talk to them, but I get the feeling if we do, we might have to surrender Thex back to them. We need to get that agent back. I'm at the or at this point. So the order, Commodore, is to pursue the fleeing vessel? You notice that she's, and everyone kind of gives her a look, like this is something she pulls where it's like, I'm looking for an excuse to break the rules. Yeah. <laughs> but it's within the line. She's coloring in the line. She's just coloring colors is all. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's she's coloring in the off colors. Yep. That's the order. Bring us about full warp. Oh, you're going to get in trouble for this, Captain. Yeah, that's nothing new. Oh, you know, less trouble with two disabled Klingon D7s there. And the Norwest warps away from Ippolo 4 with a... And thankfully for them, the Thenta class fighters planet, uh, they begin warping after them, but uh, they are warping after a ship way faster than they are. As long as she keeps pace, they, they will have a hard time catching her. They're just leaving these D7s just floating there. Rip. Oh. Uh, for uh, a momentum and a threat, uh, half of the fighters will stay behind. 
sense. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a good. So that, that pulls the numbers down because some of them are. Some of the, some of the one of the fighter captains has the right idea of going. Ah, oh, maybe we shouldn't leave these behind because <laughs> they're floating in a debris field, and if we leave them there, they're just going to blow up, and then we don't have anyone to interrogate. And Dorian's like prisoners as much as everyone else. New scene as we jump forward in time. Dr. Efrix. Yes. You are called to the bio bed of the patient Irene Adler. By her or? Uh, by one of your uh, medical. Okay. Uh, you can roll reason or insight plus medicine. Difficulty one. Assisted by computers plus medicine of DSE. To do a quick look over on the chart to see why they're bothering you. Because normally they don't grab the CMO for a routine checkup. That's not your job. You have a ton of people for exactly that. Doctors, surgeons, counselors. Very you know. rarely is anything about Irene mundane. <laughs> yeah. If she wants an extra pillow, they don't call the CMO. For it. <laughs> At least they better not. It's like, I, I mean, I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, remember that time... I made you capable of flying a ship by yourself. Yeah, yeah. you owe me a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be correct. I hadn't thought of that, but that's a fair point. Uh, xenobiology? Yeah. Okay. Well, that could have been better. Okay. That's just been said to you, Doctor. Is that something we've been aware of, or is she, like, suddenly... It's sudden. What did she do? Uh, for momentum, I will answer. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's not the right word. <laughs> can't type for the love of all that is bloody there. I'm like ha of the things that you could have told me <laughs> that was not I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Yeah I'll do a glance over kind of double take in the in the chart. And then look at her. My money's on pregnant. <laughs> God, I hope not with this reading. With a mutant. I mean, it is a baby, Grandin. You're right, Gingers. Wow. Um. So I'll walk over. Um, like I said, do a double take at her chart. And how can I help you, Miss Adler? And then, like, give her a look like, no, really. 
What? <laughs> the doctor who is attending kind of looks over. Le give you the... Yeah, I'll kind of give the nod to... Sorry, doctor. I, uh... I had to take a quick step out of your med bay for a little bit. Um, what have you done? I just... Something not very smart, but I think if I hadn't... We wouldn't have had Grenin. He's, uh... Don't know how much you can believe me, but I don't have a whole lot of choice in who I can hide in, as I've been told by my other doctor. Um... Someone's out to kill Grenin. Yeah, that and... tracks. <laughs> I had to use some friends who warned me the method to go back. I was going to try to bring him with me, but uh, apparently uh, someone had the bright idea of detonating a torpedo aboard a starship. So that, that kind of put a damper on my plans. Um, I wrote down what I could, and she gestures at a pad. I don't know how much I can help, but someone needs to get to him, or they're going to succeed. Whoever's after him will stop at nothing to get him. This is a power play on a scale... I haven't dealt with since the Romulans. And she just starts going quiet. Her in the 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 bio blaring at you that her life's yeah. okay. Yeah. Is there I mean there's that's not something I can really treat at this point, right? It's too Uh, yeah, I'll spend to make this hard because this is this is pretty. I mean, fairly... it would be, yeah. She's basically uh, going full like. Reason of medicine Back difficulty to the future, five. Future just solving herself. Um... Reason of medicine difficulty five assisted by computers medicine to quickly look up on the. What in all of Starfleet medicine and beyond you do? Because yeah. uh, you're running and within the time limit you have because the patient's yeah, okay. dating. Uh novel trauma. Uh this would count, yep. Uh, I'm gonna use my surgeon's medal to uh bring down the difficulty. <laughs> so diff three. Um Emergency medicine? Add complication. Ah, uh, okay. no, no, no. It's, it's on the dot. Never mind. It's on the dot. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my star cross for that. Okay. That doubles crit range, right? Yep. Uh, it's reason medicine. <laughs> that one's. 
I don't think that second one is. No. No. But that's okay. That's that's it. I I, I hit it. <laughs> But she's not welcome amongst them, correct? Uh, officially, no. She is yeah. officially she is not. But the first one you can do, but the only place you know that by that uh, is them. They have the tech. Okay. To help. Unless you can get into one of the other vaults, but you don't. The only people who are actively is well, is them and Myth. But Myth's been MIA is been listed MIA. Hey, hey. <sighs> okay. Um, and it looks like I'm gonna be on hold for a bit. Um, I'll take. I'll take the pad that she is holding out for me. You see a very detailed uh, mm -hmm. report. Uh, there's pages and pages. Like, I'll take it. I'm not looking at it currently. No. Yep. Just, um, I'll get it to our best. But I want to come back to you. We'll make it happen. And then I'll start, yeah, waving people over to help get her into stasis. Uh, due to your medical department advantage, this is simply by structure plus medicine. Normally it would be diff two, but yeah. I assume you're calling. You literally said you're calling people over, so I'm like, well, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what that is. <laughs> yes, please. I would like that very much. Uh, I'll make it one harder. Why not? It's one of the last scenes of the night, anyway. I'm nice like that. I mean, okay. Um. Diff two. So that's that after I've already brought down the. That's after taking in the medical. Okay. Um. Would be three. I'll do. Otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'll do uh, my second surgeon's medal. So back down to diff one. Mm -hmm. um, emergency medicine? Yeah. Or, or xenobiology? It's not surgery, I don't think. No. Okay. Um, you said it's daring medicine. Um, okay. Yeah, you and your staff are very quickly able to get Irene out to a stasis. Which doesn't solve her problem, but at least stops the decay. Mm -hmm. Or slows it dramatically, anyway. Uh, life signs stabilized. Stasis energy constant. We have it tied into the main station, so as long as the station doesn't power flicker, uh, even on the tertiary system, we should be okay, Doctor. Although I don't know what we're going to do with someone with this much uh, radiation damage. I have a thought, but it might involve some groveling with the woohoo. Doctor? They have some 
interesting technology that I've been personally partial to. Um, I'll reach out to my contacts. First, is pinned around? Because he uh, left the ship. Do I know? <laughs> you, uh, you could ask. You could ask aloud to this. Like they, your staff wouldn't know off the top. Of their heads. They know where yeah. you are because you're, you're the department head. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd probably like either um, ask the computer or try to hail. Uh, computer reports that Pend is on his way to the docking. Right. I need to go uh, head him off with the pass. Doctors, get out of your way, because they can handle Adler from here, at least. Yeah. Keep me uh, updated. <laughs> yes, <Sorry, doctor>. run. <laughs> well, I was... I was going to change the thing, but... Pend, you're on your way to the Bondo. And Looking rather nearby... TOS. <laughs> oh, you're in your TOS uniform already? Yeah. Do you have an alternate name you're going by? Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I you're actually do, uniform, but... Yeah. The door, the turbo lift door opens to present a breathless Ephrix. Doctor? Captain? You look sharp. Um, <laughs> that is like true coming from Ephraim, because that's like this the style she grew up with. <laughs> you back uh, when our um, uniforms are stylish. Can I help, Doctor? I'm rather busy at the moment. Uh, yeah, I have a. Uh, she kind of looks around. <laughs> Uh, there are but people it... coming and going, but no one's paying too much attention to you. Yeah, me. so I kind of just step in the uh, line with Pen. I have a... Yeah. Um, a... Terminal and currently in stasis chronoton radiated Irene Adler in my med bay. Oh, let me guess. Something to do with something in the past. Yes. Yeah, I'm off to go deal with that now. Somehow I feel like you already know. Well, I know we take everything that she has to say with a grain of salt because it's... Well, let's be honest, it's 50-50 a lie, but... She was dying, so I'm inclined to believe her this time. She let she left me these. And I assume I get some form of data pad. You're handed or a Or is it like pad. actually papers? I was It was a pad, yeah. It just was okay. one civilian ones that you that they could just buy or have replicated. Got it. Uh, I'll read this on the way, but I need to get going. Alright. Be careful, Cap. Yeah, where's the fun in that? As he starts to walk off. I'm gonna go grey. <laughs> what do you do, Doctor? Well... As you realize you're, as you realize you're now the second... No. <laughs> oh no. His com his Commander Wright is blissfully unaware of what's going on. Oh no. Let Two people relax. like don't want command at all. Just like <sighs> Don't worry, the third in command at the moment's a lieutenant. <sighs> With no command experience. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, she's only you twenty. Were a yeah. <sighs> My heart. Okay. 
Um, I guess I will inform right of a little bit of what's going on in the Captain Pend is leaving. Um, I don't know how much I can tell her. <laughs> um, leaving to save the fleet captain again. Yeah, I mean, I can tell her that. She'd believe it. Um, and then... She would know what it means, too. Yeah. And then ask her what she needs of me because I'm technically like second in the com in command and uh. so doctor you're telling me that that we don't have the strategic operations officer or <sighs> intelligence or myth or the fleet captain and according to my data, we don't. The Kismet's not coming back for whatever reason, and the plank is nowhere near here, and the Achilles is nowhere. Near. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any medical yeah. issues outstanding that, uh, like, uh, uh, from the last report I got from you, we cleared our docket, so we're down to minimal patients. Uh, just one special patient. Oh. Miss Irene Adler seems to have gotten herself into trouble again. <laughs> How? She never she's been in sickbay this whole time, isn't she? I can only assume she did some kind of mind trick to convince us that she was. Okay. Um the chronotonic radiation that is eating away at her body would suggest otherwise. She's in stasis. Have a momentum, everybody. <clears throat> so she time traveled. It would appear so. Okay. Why is there so much of that recently? Oh, yeah, really? almost like um, we're in a time travel plot. Huh. So, okay. Uh, is the situation contained then, at least? or I mean, she's stable in stasis for now. I, I have doctors monitoring her to make sure that it doesn't deteriorate or radiate further. My plan is to reach out to my contacts in the Luhu and see what we can do for her. Why do you need to speak with the woohoo? Don't we have the technology to help her? Or are you saying she's that sick? It's that bad. Um, well, I don't have any pressing medical needs at the moment other than this headache, but I can deal with that with, a, with one of the other doctors. Um, I'll let, I'll give, this is a medical matter, so officially you're on lead on this one. This is your mission, as it were, doctor. But, uh, if we have an incident, I, I unless you're on leave, I can't let you leave the station until we have another ship uh, full of crew. We're getting pretty low on personnel now, and Agreed. we're the two command level officers left in this region. My hope was not to have to leave, but we'll see what I can do. Very well. You have any idea what Penn's doing anyway? All I knew is that he's boarding the Bondo to somewhere. Uh, I have an idea and I'm not sure I'm allowed to say anything. Right. Um, because intelligence stuff again. Right. Um, I'll trust you all know what you're doing. I'll poke around too much. Let's just try to make sure these Klingons don't comp. I'll try to make sure the Klingons don't complicate things while you're doing what you're doing. Well, we can 
say this for sure. Hmm. Penda's going to help Captain Grinnan because he's being targeted again. Hmm. I thought the Tereshkova was bad. Thank you, Doctor. Hopefully y'all hear better news the next time we have a talk. We need to actually sit down and have dinner at some point. Yeah, that doesn't I owe you price, like please. so many drinks. Yeah. Good day, Doctor. Ander? And her face vanishes. Everett's kind of face palms. <sighs> Just keep all these plates spinning, it's fine. <laughs> and that is the end of the episode. <laughs>